Chapter 3201 An expert from outside, he was a large expert with strange clothes and a heavy rod in his hand. He was in the mid four peak realm. This person was blocked by the academy's disciples outside the mountain gates. He was shouting, but he didn't make a move. I've already told you many times, senior apprentice brother Long Chen isn't inside the academy. We'll tell you when he gets back. If you disturb Fairy Shishi with your shouting and get crushed by her, don't blame us then, responded those disciples. Bullshit. I've waited two days. I came from outside this domain and passed through the Devil Sea just to fight Long Chen. What? Does he not dare to come out? roared that expert. I'm telling you, senior apprentice brother Long Chen isn't here. He just went out when you came. Furthermore, do you think that he would be afraid of you considering his power? Why would we have to lie to you? Eh, isn't that senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Just then, that disciple noticed Long Chen and the others walking over. That large man turned to look at Long Chen. His eyes shone brightly with four colors as he shouted, Long Chen, I came to challenge you to a fight. Do you dare to accept? You are from outside this domain? Long Chen cocked his head at him curiously. Correct. My surname is Zhu and my name is Sixion. I am from the heavenly star domain. I crossed the Devil Sea to come to the Dao Dawn domain just to fight you. Do you dare to accept? shouted the one who called himself Zhu Zixion. Long Chen crossed his arms in front of his chest and shook his head. I dislike such senseless challenges. Even if you win, what will it prove? As a cultivator, you must fight against powerful enemies. You cannot cower. Turn every expert into a whetstone for yourself, constantly training so you can become a true expert, declared Zhu Zixin arrogantly. Have you reached the point where you have no more opponents in the heavenly star domain? asked Long Chen. Ah, no. Zhu Zixin deflated. Long Chen rolled his eyes. Then is something wrong with your head? You have so many experts to challenge in your domain, so why did you come here? Did you think that I'm a soft persimmon that will be easier to crush? So you can find a sense of existence for yourself? Kin Feng and the others also laughed. This fellow's aura truly was powerful, but it seemed that his head wasn't very good. At the very least, he was still waiting at the gates obediently. Even if he was getting impatient, he didn't charge in or injure others. Who cares about all that? I'm already here. Do you dare to accept my challenge? shouted Zhu Zixin, directly throwing away any sense of logic. I'm going to say something that you won't like to hear. You aren't a match for my boss. How about I accompany you for a few exchanges? said Ken Feng, stepping forward. He knew that his boss disdained fighting someone like this, let alone Long Chen. Even Ken Feng disliked such a challenge. It was only done by people who had nothing better to do. However, this person had come from so far away. If Ken Feng didn't give him a little taste, he'd feel bad. Yeah? Are you looking down on me? I'm challenging him, raged Su Zixin. He viewed it as an insult that Long Chen wouldn't accept his challenge. Kin Feng didn't bother wasting more words with this foolish fellow and appeared right in front of him. Before he could react, Kin Feng's palm landed on his chest. As a result, Zhu Zixin was sent flying away from the entrance like a shooting star. Zhu Zixin was shocked by Kin Feng's speed. Kin Feng had already had mercy on him. If Kin Feng had wanted to kill, he would have directly attacked his vitals, and this guy would already be dead. Just this one shove was enough for everyone to see that Zhu Zixin was raised pampered, someone who didn't know how high the heavens were. Zhu Zixin stabilized himself in the distance, and his expression changed. He hadn't expected Kin Feng to be so powerful. That doesn't count. I wasn't ready. We're starting over. Take my rod. 
Zhu Zixin's manifestation appeared and his primal bloodline raged. However, just as he raised his rod, his expression changed once again. Now, a blade was pressed up against his neck. Zhu Zixin hadn't even managed to unleash his attack before Kin Feng grasped his weakness. Kin Feng himself was speechless. Was there really such a weak primal in this world? He saw countless fatal openings in his moves just now. Can you tell me how you managed to live for so long? Kin Feng looked at him oddly. This, this doesn't count. I wasn't ready. Su Zixin's expression grew exceedingly unsightly. All right, I'll give you one more chance so that you're fully convinced. Kin Feng retreated and pointed his saber at Zhu Zixin. Just as Kin Feng retreated, Zhu Zixin smashed his rod and directly stole the initiative. It was a bit contemptible. However, when his rod smashed down, it was sent flying out of his grasp. He coughed up blood, also flying back. Inadequate technique, inadequate power. Are you convinced now? Kin Feng put away his saber, shaking his head. Even he felt that this was a completely meaningless one-sided battle. Zhu Zixin was shocked and angered. Looking at his bleeding hand to Kin Feng, who hadn't even summoned his manifestation, he almost couldn't believe it. You have the barbarian race's bloodline. Suddenly, Long Chen looked at Zhu Zixin closely. He saw brightly colored granules in Zhu Zixin's fresh blood. That was the mark of the barbarian race. Wilder's blood also had such a thing. Those granules had transformed into runes in the final battle of the Martial Heaven Continent. They had linked together like chains. However, in comparison, this Zhu Zixing had very few granules in his blood. But Long Chen couldn't be mistaken about that aura. I, My ancestors were from a branch of the barbarian race, but their bloodline has almost been erased over time said Zhu Zixin. He no longer had any of his previous arrogance and obediently answered. The heavenly star domain has the barbarian race within it, asked Long Chen. If he could find the barbarian race, perhaps he could find Wilda. The heavenly star domain doesn't contain the barbarian race, only some descendants from one of their branches. The true barbarian race is in the desolate domain, answered Zhu Zixin. You're only descended from a branch, and your bloodline was almost severed, but you still managed to awaken a primal bloodline. That's hard to believe. Long Chen instantly grew curious. This was a rarely seen regression to an ancestral state. Yes, my father, the emperor, also said the same thing. He said that I can definitely become a supreme expert. Zhu Zixin once more became arrogant. This bloodline of his was his greatest pride. You're even from their emperor race. Of course. I am the prince of one of the heavenly star domain's mighty five emperors. Hey, where are you going? Long Chen and the others directly began walking away when Zhu Zixing's story reached this point. Stop bragging. Due to that trace of the barbarian race's bloodline, I can accept you as a little brother. But if you think that you're some prince, you can scram. Go back to where you came from. Long Chen's voice rang out from a distance. Zhu Zixin was silent for a moment. He then suddenly jumped and chased after them. Wait for me. I'm willing to follow you. Chapter 3202 Flourishing Academy When Long Chen and the others entered the High Firmament Academy, Zhu Zixin followed them. However, after seeing how terrifying Kin Feng was, he no longer dared to be arrogant. Navaloon come after asking him about his origins. Kin Feng and the others almost beat him up. What mighty five emperors? The truth was that four of those so-called emperor races were already destroyed, and his branch of the emperor race was so incredibly weak that others didn't even view them as a threat. Hence, they were ignored. In the heavenly star domain, they could only tuck their tails between their legs. They didn't even dare to fight or provoke anyone for fear of their family being destroyed. Zuzikshin felt immensely stifled by this. 
he felt that as a primal he was the hope of his emperor race rising once more hence he had to find someone to fight to raise his prestige it just so happened that he saw long chen's display at the nine prefecture convention in a photographic jade however the photographic jade only showed him the scene but didn't transmit the immense divine power raging at the time hence he felt that he should be on par with long chen and that he might even win if he fought him as a result he slipped out of his family territory crossed the devil sea and came to the heavenly swell domain it was unknown if he was simply incredibly lucky or else but the devil sees fiends ignored him perhaps feeling that he was too weak hence he crossed through safely ever since ancient times crossing the devil sea was always an extremely dangerous task those sea demons and devil monsters viewed the human race as prey especially powerful cultivators the stronger a person was the more these creatures desired to consume them consuming strong cultivators would strengthen them thus presuziction to cross it alone this could be considered an impressive feat however everyone also saw that his head wasn't very good it seemed a bit one-tracked by Sile was the happiest about his arrival he finally found someone even more foolish than him of course it was due to this foolishness that he decided to cross the devil's sea alone however long chen had read some introductions about the barbarian race in the history books in truth the barbarian race should not be considered part of the human race more accurately they were part of the spirit race they received the blessing of the heavenly Tao's, so their physical bodies were extremely powerful it was said that in the desolate era the barbarian race stood at the peak of the food chain they could cross mountains and seas tear apart the sky with their bare hands and crush stars with a single punch however as time passed it was unknown if their bloodline regressed or if the heavens retracted their blessing but the current barbarian had lost most of their divine abilities even though they weren't as terrifying as the legends the barbarian race still had an illustrious name in history despite that there weren't many records about them in the high firmament academy furthermore some records about them within the bone books had mysteriously vanished long chen thought of the skeleton of the barbarian race that he had encountered on the martial heaven continent's Li secret realm he then recalled his conversation with yu Ziokian. that barbarian race expert had asked yu Ziokian about the barbarian race and yu Ziokian had said that the mother star had collapsed and that the barbarian race had fought to the death long chen clearly recalled her mentioning the dark era and how eight epochs had passed as well as some god sealing world back then he had thought that this related to the continent's secrets however now he felt that it was very likely a secret of the actual immortal world even now he had not learned anything about those matters it was as if part of history had been erased if yu Ziokian's words were true then the barbarian race that zu Zixin was speaking of was definitely not the pure-blooded race they were just a branch of the barbarian race that was why there was such a difference between them and the legendary barbarian race seeing zu Zixin, long chen thought of wilda he wanted to learn more about the barbarian race from zu Zixin's body however long chen wasn't in a rush to interrogate zu Zixin. upon returning to the inner academy long chen directly gave him the status of an inner academy disciple recently countless disciples had been flocking toward the high firmament academy to join it one reason was because the dean had appeared at the nine prefecture convention and forced away in Puda's clone long chen had also destroyed the blood kill hall killing countless experts meanwhile no news came from in Puda's side so the high firmament academy had once more risen to its former position the overlord of the heavenly swell domain people had thought that the academy had declined but now they realized that it was still the old academy no matter how much it declined 
the other sects still couldn't compare to it. Thus, countless experts had come to register. Due to there being so many examinees, the academy was busy conducting exams. Luckily, there weren't that many rules for the recruitment. As long as the examinees passed the exams, they could join. The fact that the dual champion of the Nine Prefecture Convention, Long Chen, was here caused countless disciples to come. He was a heaven master and had to hold two classes a month, so most of those disciples came in hopes of gaining some pointers from him. After the Nine Prefecture Convention, people went through the records and found that he truly was the only one to perfectly espouse the principles of the Marshal Tao and put them to practice. They felt that his comprehension of the heavenly Tao's was based on his experience and his pointers could save them from going down the wrong paths. In fact, countless people had wanted to register right after the Nine Prefecture Convention, but then the Bloodkill Hall had joined forces with the other powers to attack the Academy. With those dark undercurrents, no one dared to make any rash moves. After Long Chen's tribulation, those enemies were killed and hundreds of sects disbanded. Only then did people feel comfortable rushing over to register. It had to be known that those disbanded sects would not have done that unless they had no other choice. It meant that whether it was in Puda or Lord Brahma, no one was supporting them. With that confirmation, people brazenly registered. Some sects even sent their most outstanding disciples over because the High Firmament Academy was different from other sects. As long as you paid the tuition fee, no one would be rejected, nor would they stop people from leaving after attending classes. It was simply an application to fill in before they could leave to another sect. Otherwise, they would be treated as traitors. The High Firmament Academy would not treat people badly. They would give the leaving disciples a fair evaluation, and other sects could use that evaluation to decide how to raise them. There was a huge line at the gate, but some people didn't need to queue to register. Those people were primals. Such an expert could be directly accepted through an instructor's interview. After a few questions, as long as there were no problems, they could become a disciple. Only the most talented disciples were given the privilege of directly becoming Inner Academy disciples. After all, they were the main force of any sect. In just a few days, over fifty primals had joined. But Zhu Zixin was the first one from outside of this domain. Liuo Bing, contact your Liuo family. I'm preparing to take a trip there to talk about our collaboration, said Long Chen. Chapter 3203 Going to the Ying Prefecture, Long Chen found Liuo Bing and Liuo Ning. The two of them had advanced to the Four Peak Realm in Crane Cry Valley. Furthermore, they had each found a rank six blood rune and smoothly refined it. Yuo Bing had even managed to grab a rank seven rune. Unfortunately, she hadn't had the power to subdue it. In the end, she wisely chose to let it go. Reality showed that her decision was correct. After she absorbed the rank six rune, she had used up most of her energy. She almost failed in the middle of her tribulation and it was very dangerous. Fortunately, both of them had obtained a rank six rune, as well as three rank four runes. That made the two of them incredibly excited. Now, the two of them had stabilized their realms solidly at the first heaven stage of the four peak realm. Long Chen had expected the two of them to be delighted, but when he said that he wanted to visit their family, they dodged his gaze. Yuo Bing said, Long Chen, your eye isn't healed yet. Why not go later? Why? Is it not convenient? Long Chen was startled. It's not inconvenient. Liuo Bing stalled. Aya, I'll say it. The Liuo family is surrounded by enemies and doesn't want you to get involved for fear that the Liuo family will owe you a greater debt, said Liuo Ning directly. Surrounded by enemies? Asked Long Chen. Well, Liuo Bing still hesitated. Yuo Ning irritably said, What is there to hide about? 
If the family head asks about it, I will bear the responsibility. The Ying Prefecture borders the Devil Sea. To the left, it borders the Shen Prefecture. It's unknown if it's the Chu family's doing, but a huge number of devils have started pouring out of the Devil Sea and attacking the Ying Prefecture's cities. As for the Chu family, they are also secretly gathering their forces, seemingly in preparation for a sneak attack. Hence, the Luo family has entered its war state. The family head might consider it inappropriate to tell you these things, so we weren't supposed to tell you. Long Chen curled his lips. The Luo family was really rigid. They didn't want him to get involved because they didn't want to owe him anything further. Long Chen had advanced to the Four Peak Realm and was freely capable of using the power of his divine flames. His dragon blood had also fully merged with him during the Heavenly Tribulation. Hence, he didn't fear anyone below the Immortal King Realm. Ning Er, if the family head learns that you told this to Long Chen, you'll be punished, scolded Liu Bing. What's there to be afraid of? If I have to be punished, then I'll be punished. For the Liu family, if I didn't even have this bit of courage, I wouldn't be fit to be a descendant of the Liu family, said Liu Ning indifferently. Gather your things. I'm going to report this, and then we'll immediately leave, said Long Chen. He wanted to go to the Liuo family. He felt that the timing was good as he wanted to investigate his mother. Although the academy didn't restrict his movements, he had to tell them where he was going first. This was simply manners, the foundation of being an adult. Long Chen first found the deputy dean, and as expected, the deputy dean didn't say anything about it, just telling him to be careful. After that, he wanted to go see Bai Shishi's mother, but he found that she wasn't in the academy and neither was Bai Zhantang or Bai Zhao's mother. Since that was the case, he could only go back. At this moment, Liu Bing, Liu Ning, and the others were ready. The unfettered alliance's disciples, the Liu Gate's disciples, they all gathered excitedly. What are you doing? You're disciples of the academy. This is a private matter and not something arranged by the academy. How can I bring you out as well? Long Chen looked at these excited fellows speechlessly. Those disciples were instantly disappointed. Mu Qingyan's mouth moved a few times, but she didn't say anything. Looking at her, Long Chen said, I know what you're thinking, but remember, you are a sword cultivator. To cultivate the sword is mostly to cultivate the mind. Getting infected by so much murderous aura will affect your realm. The sword is the lord of all weapons, the only one that can be worn as an ornament. Do you understand? Mu Qingyan nodded. I understand. I'll listen to Brother San. Long Chen smiled. For her to say such a thing meant that she didn't really understand. But if she didn't understand, then she didn't understand. There was no way for him to explain it more clearly. She could only rely on herself to comprehend it. Boss, I have to go, declared Bai Sayol, afraid that Long Chen would toss him away. Zhu Zixin also said, Me too, I want to bear witness to the Dao Dawn domain, it's the heavenly swell domain, corrected Kin Feng Novelun. Come, yes, the heavenly swell domain. I want to see what the sea demons of the heavenly swell domain look like. When I crossed the Devil Sea, I didn't see a single one. So infuriating, said Zhu Zixin. Don't show off. If you had encountered a sea demon then, you would no longer exist in this world, said Kin Feng. This fellow actually knew how to show off his accomplishments. Hearing this, Zhu Zixin blushed. After that, Long Chen looked at everyone. If the Luo family's disciples wish to return home to work for the Luo family, then there's naturally nothing wrong with it. As for the rest of you, there is no such thing. If you want to get stronger, you don't need to always stay with me. The High Firmament Academy has countless experts registering, so there will be plenty of heavenly geniuses for you to compete against. 
the rankings of the inner academy will change every day all of you should learn from that competition go do your own things in the end long chen only brought kin feng bai Ziol, and zhu zixin along with liuo bing and the rest of the experts of the liuo family they numbered slightly over thirty people why haven't i seen young master chang chuan and bai shishi lately asked long chen on the flying boat young master chang chuan directly left without saying anything after his tribulation he was in a great rush as for bai shishi after your tribulation she went to the field of bitter reincarnation it seemed that she was provoked said bai zio is she crazy long chen was shocked bai shishi had also gone to do the bitter reincarnation trial although she was powerful that was a trial that targeted a person's mental strength and will she wasn't too skilled in this regard so she was going to face endless torment i feel the same who knows she's always been cold so no one knows what she's thinking bai zio shrugged long chen shook his head he recalled bai shishi's stubbornness perhaps his tribulation was what had provoked her however it had to be known that he had faced off against heavenly tribulation from the day he entered the cultivation world if she wanted to increase her mental strength and will there were many ways to go about it there was no reason to go to such extremes one accident and her mind might be damaged however she was simply that stubborn no one could change the decisions that she made but if she succeeded her mental realm would definitely transform and her mental energy would become unmatched she would be like an unsheathed sword long chen and the others sat on the flying boat going through several transportation formations for two days before arriving at the ying prefecture as soon as they arrived here the smell of blood assaulted them chapter three thousand two hundred four luo family grand elder the scent of blood hung in the air it was like a wet market where people constantly killed fish in it as soon as long chen Yuo bing and the others stepped out of the transportation formation people immediately came up to confirm their status when Yuo bing showed her status as a disciple of the Yuo family they immediately let them through during normal times there was no need for such strict checking however this was a special period the ying prefecture was jointly guarded by three large powers but they all blindly followed the lead of the luo family it could be said that the ying prefecture was rather safe under the leadership of the luo family thus a status plate of a disciple from the luo family was the greatest confirmation after that they entered another transportation formation that brought them into an ancient city and then there was another transportation formation this transportation formation was the one that could bring them throughout the ying prefecture long chen had liuo bing bring them to the liuo family's fortress he wanted to see just what kind of existence came from the devil's sea the scent of blood grew even denser after the next transportation formation they then got on the flying boat again and flew for two hours before arriving at a boundless shore the sapphire blue water was part of the famous devil sea the more you looked at it the more frightening it became it was like a bottomless abyss no one knew what sort of monsters lay within its depths however this was different from the martial heaven sea ring there was no tide nor waves it was just a body of dead water even from a distance they could see countless figures cleaning up the battlefield by the shore there were countless corpses piled up and their blood soaked into the seawater those giant corpses were oddly shaped sea demons some were armored manatees sea serpents with giant fangs crocodiles with a blue flap on their backs and many others that long chen had never seen before on the martial heaven continent when their flying boat got closer they saw that over ten giant crossbows were pointing at them those crossbows were hundreds of meters long based on their auras even a late-stage divine lord would probably be killed by them 
Stop. Who goes there? After Liu Bing stopped the flying boat, Long Chen and the others stepped down. However, as soon as Long Chen appeared, countless startled cries rang out. Long Chen was currently the most famous expert of the entire heavenly swell domain's junior generation. His fame had soared with the Nine Prefecture Convention, and he had countless worshippers and people who viewed him as an idol. Thus, as soon as he arrived, he caused a ruckus. None of them had expected Long Chen to come here. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what are you doing here? At this moment, Yuo Zhu flew out of the crowd and came to him, pleasantly surprised. She had also advanced to the Four Peak Realm and had reached the Second Heaven stage. However, she was currently still covered in blood and had many wounds on her. Even so, those wounds didn't cover up her delight when seeing him. I managed to finish some of my more pressing matters, so I was hoping to come to the Luo family for a look, said Long Chen. My apologies, I didn't expect the Luo family to be so busy. I hope I didn't disturb you. Yuo Bing and Luo Ning exchanged a glance. This was clearly to cover up Luo Ning telling him that secret. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you are always welcome. Come, let me introduce you. This is our Luo family's grand elder, said Luo Zhu, introducing him to an old man with a sharp face and a sharp gaze. He was a late-stage divine lord, and his gaze was as sharp as a blade. With his thin lips and stuck-up nose, he seemed like a very stubborn person. The elder's gaze showed no emotion. Long Chen was originally going to bow and exchange some pleasantries, but with that reception, he couldn't be bothered. Seeing that, Liu Bing, Liu Zhu, and the others tensed. But they didn't dare to say anything. Have I offended, senior? asked Long Chen directly. Liu King Yang was my grandson. Long Chen was startled. No wonder his gaze wasn't friendly. The Grand Elder said, Liu King Yang was a disgrace to the Liu family. I don't blame you for that matter but I am not happy. I dislike you, but as an elder of the Luo family, I also cannot be rude. But Long Chen smiled. I understand. If the positions were reversed, I would be the same. Yuo King Yang went down the path of no return. Although I didn't lead him, it cannot be said that it had no relation to me. I do not mind that Senior doesn't like me. As long as someone does not harm me or the people beside me, I won't mind at all. From the martial heaven continent to the immortal world, Long Chen had seen all kinds of people. As for this old man, his stubbornness was practically etched across his face. Yuo King Yang had betrayed the family because of his pampering, so this old man was definitely enraged by the betrayal, more so than anyone else. That was why he didn't show a friendly face toward Long Chen, regardless of this betrayal not having much to do with him. Then I'll thank you. I'm busy, so I won't accompany you. Zhu Er can keep you company. The Grand Elder left just like that. Yuo Zhu stuck out her tongue and said to Long Chen, This elder's temper is very explosive. When he learned of Liuo King Yang's betrayal, he coughed up blood and almost became bedeviled. If it hadn't been for the family head, he might have followed Liuo King Yang's footsteps to the afterlife. He was originally the vice family head, and he was the one who requested to be demoted to Grand Elder. Moreover, he also punished himself with three hundred beatings of the wooden staves. He really isn't bad. Don't take his stubbornness to heart. Aha, naturally. I like this character, said Long Chen, not minding at all. He wasn't so petty. Long Chen, I didn't expect that you would come here. Just then, the void shook and a middle-aged man appeared. It was the Luo family's commander of their protector corps and the second son of the current family head. He was also Long Chen's maternal uncle. Yuo Changwu was pleasantly surprised to see Long Chen come here. The latter was currently blazing as brightly as the sun in the heavenly swell domain. 
Long Chen immediately greeted him and asked him how he was. He learned that Liuo Changwu came to take over the guard duty. The people here had just fought a huge battle. They were being switched out so that they could rest and recuperate. Senior, are these corpses useful to you? Long Chen pointed to the sea demons. Those things were trash to others, but they were treasures to him. Before Liuo Changwu could answer, an ear-piercing alarm rang out. All the experts that were in the midst of changing shifts instantly tensed. Chapter 3205 Deep Sea Crocodile Bull Prepare for Battle Liuo Changwu shouted. The experts in the midst of cleaning up the battlefield and taking over immediately retreated from the front lines, all their weapons appearing in their hands. Long Chen, I didn't expect the sea demons to attack twice this time, so I can't accompany you. I have to direct the battle, said Liuo Changwu. Of course, Senior is busy. I also want to experience just how powerful the sea demons of the Devil Sea are, said Long Chen. He wanted these corpses, but now wasn't the time for such a thing. I'll take my leave. Zuer, make sure to treat our important guests properly, ordered Liuo Changwu, flying off to a distant tower. That was the commander tower, the core of the battlefield. Not only could he see the entire battlefield from there, but there were even formations that allowed him to see deep into the sea. That way, he could gain information ahead of time. The sound of the alarm also came from there. This alarm prevented the sea demons from catching them off guard. Every time I see this kind of scene, I feel my blood heating up, said Kin Feng emotionally. Millions of experts were getting into position. You really are real heroes. You're not nervous in the face of such a large battle at all, praised Liu Zhu. Whether it was Long Chen or Kin Feng, they all possessed a fanaticism toward battle. It seemed that they never feared any battle. I'm not a hero. I'm just following boss. If I'm not in battle, I'm on the way to battle. I'm already used to it. Every time I see something like this, I want to charge to the front, said Kin Feng with a bitter smile. Just then, the calm water began to ripple. In the distance, giant waves began to soar. It was like a giant wall of water was crashing toward them. When they saw that, countless expressions changed, and Liuo Zhu was also shocked. For the waves to be so big, this attack is probably over ten times larger than the last attack. After fighting the sea demons for so long, they managed to grasp a general pattern. The size of the waves generally corresponded to the scale of the attack the sea demons were launching. Damnable Chu family, what did they do to make the sea demons suddenly start attacking us? At this time, Liuo King also came over. She spoke hatefully. Although the Liuo family bordered the Devil Sea and often had to deal with sea demons coming onto the shore, the scale was never so big. However, just over half a month ago, the Liuo family's disciples discovered the tracks of the Chu family in the surroundings. They then immediately got a bad feeling. As expected, the very next day, a huge number of sea demons started attacking the Ying Prefecture. All the sects of the Ying Prefecture, under the guidance of the three major forces, joined hands to resist the sea demons. There had been over a hundred million people injured in this half month, and over ten thousand deaths. Furthermore, the Shen Prefecture's Chu family also began to assemble, seemingly wanting to take advantage of the sea demons' attack. As a result, the Liuo family's forces were diverted to two sides, one side blocking the sea demons and the other side to guard against the Chu family. With their power diverted, they were much weaker. Fortunately, the Liuo family had a great deal of prestige within the Ying prefecture. The various large powers didn't participate in the personal enmity between the Liuo family and the Chu family, but they sent out their elite experts to handle the sea demons. The Liuo family also sent over a large number of experts to lead the troops of the large powers. They guarded a long defensive line. 
if the sea demons broke through this defense they would kill countless innocent commoners suddenly the sea water in the distance exploded and giant sea demons larger than mountains came out the front half of them looked like a bull but they had a long crocodile tail behind them their horns flickered with silver light they were all fourth rank sea demons fourth rank sea demons were roughly equivalent to the human race's divine lord realm but that was only in terms of cultivation base they possessed immense power and tough defenses in a one against one if they were fighting in the sea humans definitely wouldn't be a match for them however on land these water element life forms definitely faced a certain restriction adding on that sea demons were ultimately demonic beasts with low intelligence the human race had quite an advantage despite that to see millions of divine lord level sea demons appear out of the water at once was a frightening sight just the sight alone gave them immense pressure deep sea crocodile bowls this is bad yuo zu's expression changed this kind of sea demon possessed powerful scales and immense power if the divine lords focused on fighting then the countless sea demons behind them would fall upon them and if they weren't careful they could be eaten if they used the large scale equipment that they had although their attacks were sharp using them was very expensive the price for such a thing was not easy to accept it wasn't just the crossbow bolts that were expensive even the crossbows themselves could only shoot ten large-scale bolts before they needed their runes to be reinscribed. It was a laborious and expensive task. Just then, hundreds of crossbows lit up. Their bolts shone with cold light. Clearly, in the face of these sea demons, human lives were more important. They could only endure the pain of paying such a price. After all, every divine lord was important to the defenses of the ying prefecture they were the foundation and couldn't be lost boss let's charge in as well kin feng was eager to join in every dragon blood warrior had the same warlike blood flowing in their veins however long chen shook his head in a battle of this scale the rhythm must be controlled if the rhythm is broken countless lives will be lost in such a large battle an individual's power is minuscule they have to listen to orders to prevent more losses unless you can block all the sea demons on your own it would be best not to ruin the tempo here with kin feng's power he didn't fear these sea demons the dragon blood warriors were experienced and even on his own he had the power to protect himself even if he was surrounded by these sea demons however if kin feng did go forward then the crossbows wouldn't be able to be unleashed the hesitation caused by his sudden action would affect the entire strategy it didn't matter that kin feng was powerful in the end he was still young and youngsters all liked to show off especially in front of millions of experts but now wasn't the time hundreds of crossbows shot out giant bolts that tore through those deep sea crocodile bulls long chen was surprised to see them explode once the bolts pierced their bodies unleashing a rain of blood after the explosion their fragments shot out and also damaged the nearby targets a single giant bolt possessed immense power the deep sea crocodile bulls collapsed rapidly but very quickly the hundreds of crossbows grew dim. They had to be repaired before they could shoot more ammunition. Just then, Liuo Zhu's status plate lit up. At the same time, countless experts charged toward the rest of the sea demons. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the commander has ordered divine lords and four peak primals to attack. Do you want to come along? asked Liuo Zhu. Chapter 3000 two hundred six collecting corpses we're definitely going senior apprentice sisters matters are our matters as well i by zyle am willing to fight at the very front for senior apprentice sister declared by zyle immediately afraid that long chen would refuse by zyle was still childish 
the more people there were the more he wanted to show off that was especially true after the nine prefecture convention his primal bloodline had awakened along with many divine abilities of his three flower pupils if he still didn't show off wouldn't all of that be a waste you can go i'll hold the line said long chen taking out a silver bow long chen had come to investigate his mother's case not to show off this bow was a treasure item of one of the divine lords he had killed in its original master's hands it had been left to the side the master couldn't even draw it in the heavenly tribulation he had blocked the heavenly tribulation with the bowstring trying to reduce his wounds however long chen then spotted it and found that it was actually not an ordinary bow after that he told lei long to kill him and take that bow stealthily with that bow he indicated that everyone could charge forward without needing to keep an eye on the rear they could slaughter as many sea demons as they wished novel loon come kin feng and bai Ziol instantly charged out bai Ziol's three flower pupils appeared and space twisted sending him kin feng and zhu zixing into the midst of the deep sea crocodile bulls Zhu Zixin didn't even understand what was happening when he found himself staring into the nose of one of the deep sea crocodile bulls. He jumped in shock, and before he could react, a single snort from the deep sea crocodile bull sent him flying like a cannon. He flipped through the air and smashed into the ground. At the same time, countless experts were flying past him those were the ying prefecture's divine lords and four peak primals as they passed him they glanced at him oddly zhu zixin was shocked and enraged as soon as he came here he was embarrassed just as he got up a giant black figure shot toward him he jumped and hastily dodged as a result fresh blood splashed through the air that was a giant head the head of a deep sea crocodile bull when Zhu Zixin looked, he saw Kin Feng flying past a headless corpse. In the blink of an eye, Long Chen had taken the head of one of the deep sea crocodile bulls, while he was embarrassing himself. With a furious howl, he took out his rod in manifestation, charging forward. Just then, another deep sea crocodile bull was slain by Kin Feng. Seeing this, the Ying prefecture's experts were shocked. The deep sea crocodile bulls had tough hides, and even treasure items had difficulty piercing their flesh. But Kin Feng killed them easily. Long Chen nodded as he watched Kin Feng kill the sea demons. He was quite smart. Long Chen had imparted the first form of split the heavens to him, and told him to think of his own way to have his dragon blood energy activate his acupuncture points. Now, this fellow had reached an initial level of skill in this technique. Every blow of his saber now contained the power of his dragon blood. His sharp saber kai was not something that a physical body could block. Once he fully mastered the first form of split the heavens, his power would definitely be astonishing. Although it definitely wouldn't be as powerful as the split the heavens that was unleashed with the nine star hegemon body art as a foundation, it definitely wouldn't be inferior to any other battle skill of the immortal world. Just with an initial level of skill, Kin Feng was stunning everyone. With every stroke of his saber, Kin Feng killed a deep sea crocodile bull. His attacks were incredibly sharp. As for Bai Ziol, he was forming hand seals in the air and murmuring something. Suddenly, ten of the deep sea crocodile bulls stiffened. The mark of the three flower pupils appeared in their eyes. Those deep sea crocodile bulls roared and began biting their fellow deep sea crocodile bulls. He awakened such a divine ability. Long Chan was startled. Bai Ziol had actually gained a soul controlling pupil art. This was different from a beast tamer's slave mark. This technique was even more domineering let alone against these sea demons with their weak spiritual strength it could even be used against humans turning them into his puppets 
another deep-sea crocodile bull was slain by Qin Feng, causing Bai Ziol to cry out painfully. He shouted, Big brother Qin Feng, can you look at their eyes first before killing them? This soul-controlling pupil art was an extremely high-level technique, and in order to properly control these sea demons, Bai Ziol shared their senses. Hence, the sensation of them being slain was also transmitted to his body. Due to this being his first time putting this technique into practice, his control wasn't that great. If he had reacted faster, he could have retracted his control just as it was slain. But he still hadn't reached that level yet. Sorry. Zyol, you should have your puppets go kill further away from the main battlefield to prevent more mistakes, shouted Kin Feng. This couldn't be blamed on Kin Feng. That particular deep sea crocodile bull had yet to fall completely under Bai Ziol's control. By the time that Kin Feng noticed, it was too late for him to stop. Hearing that, Bai Ziol felt that it was reasonable. He sat down on one of the deep sea crocodile bulls, and over a hundred deep sea crocodile bulls charged toward the sea demons at the rear. Seeing that Bai Ziol had gained control of so many of them in such a short time, the others were stunned. His pupil arts were truly terrifying. Furthermore, as time passed, his control grew even greater. He actually managed to gain control over an army of deep-sea crocodile bulls. However, when he reached three hundred of them, he found that he had touched his limit. Any more and his soul energy would be spread too far, and there would be danger of a backlash. The sight of Kin Feng controlling three hundred deep-sea crocodile bulls charging through the rest of the sea demon race had become a focal point. It was an even more stunning sight than Kin Feng. Behind the deep-sea crocodile bulls were a group of comparatively weaker sea demons. It seemed that the deep-sea crocodile bulls were there to tear open a hole in their defenses so that the other sea demons could charge through. Mountains of sea demons piled up, larger than city walls. With such a huge number, the sea demons could directly step over their comrades' corpses and step over the walls. The old corpses had yet to be cleaned up, and now a new batch came. Things grew dangerous. Some people began to gather the corpses, preventing them from piling on top of the walls. Seeing that his opportunity had come, Long Chen shouted, You can focus on the battle. Leave the corpses to me. Long Chen extended his hand. Thunder Force spread in a net, and all the corpses within his range instantly vanished. Long Chen's Thunder Force was like tentacles. Any corpse wrapped by his thunder force was pulled into the primal chaos space. Although Lei Linger was still refining the black swords sealed in his left eye, that didn't prevent him from using thunder force. This thunder force might not be strong enough against a real expert, but it was more than enough to suck corpses into the primal chaos space. Seeing Long Chen gather so many corpses in an instant made the experts on the walls jump. Although everyone had astral spaces, it wasn't for corpses. Astral spaces were viewed as pure lands by most people, and these corpses would infect them with death's spiritual kai. It would affect their karmic luck, and maybe even reduce their longevity. Thus, the immortal world's experts did have astral spaces, but would also have spatial rings or spatial bags to store things but those spatial items had limits to how much they could store. Considering how huge these corpses were, they wouldn't be able to fit too much before they were filled. As for those top-grade spatial rings, they were very expensive. People rarely spent money on such an extravagant thing. There were perhaps only ten to twenty such things in the Ying Prefecture because they were usually not more useful than ordinary spatial rings. After the last attack, the spatial rings that people used for these corpses were mostly full now. Usually those corpses were disposed of in some wilderness. Otherwise, even ignoring the rot, the smell would be too disgusting. If they weren't moved, just the smell would choke the commoners of Ying Prefecture. 
Long Chen flew across the wall, gathering all the corpses. The battlefield was instantly cleaned up. As others were shocked, Long Chen was delighted. These corpses were quickly nourishing the wood foundation divine trees. They were gradually recovering. The dead medicinal ingredients were also coming back to life and flourishing. His tribulation had shown him just how important the wood foundation divine trees were. If they had been strong enough, why would he have been forced to take the risk of using his purgatory eyes? As long as he could hold on long enough, Lei Linger would slowly manage to devour the black lightning. Long Chen didn't like the feeling of having all his trump cards used up. He preferred having everything under his control because his luck was always lacking. He didn't like gambling, so he could only trust in his power. The Wood Foundation divine trees were his greatest protection. He had to do his best to nourish them as much as possible. After gathering the corpses, Long Chen stood in the air, overlooking the battlefield. The majority of the deep-sea crocodile bulls had already been slain. It wouldn't be long before the remainders were wiped out. As the deep-sea crocodile bulls were slain, the army of the Ying Prefecture's experts started to switch out. The regular four peak experts stepped into the battlefield. Without the threat of the deep-sea crocodile bulls, the other experts could join the fight. Considering how large this battlefield was, it couldn't be left to just the top experts. They had to be given time to recover. Otherwise, continuous battles would exhaust their power, and if something unexpected happened, they wouldn't be able to handle things. Those experts were the core force of the battlefield. They had to be protected. Thus, on the battlefield, it was always the middle and lower level warriors that took the heaviest losses. There was no way around it. This was the cruelty of battle. Time passed bit by bit. After six hours, the sea demons still showed no signs of stopping. More and more of them were coming out from the depths. Long Chen, you should have Kin Feng and Bai Zai'll rest a bit. The sea demons normally attack for three days at a time. The scale of this attack in particular is rather large, so it might last even longer. They've used up half their physical energy. They need a break. Yuo Zhu and the others returned to Long Chen's side covered in blood. They had tried telling this directly to Qin Feng and Bai Zio, but they refused to listen, especially Bai Zio. He was too delighted by his control over these sea demons. You can rest. No need to bother with them. There won't be any danger, said Long Chen. He had his own calculations when it came to Bai Zio and Qin Feng. But that one. Yuo Zhu looked at Zhu Zixing, who was shouting even louder than the sea demons, yet hadn't killed more than a few of them. She was most worried about him. He was truly foolish. Even with all his power, he had no idea how to properly use it. Zhu Zixing had come with Long Chen and the others. Moreover, Qin Feng killed those deed sea crocodile bulls with one stroke of his saber. After they were killed, he killed a whole mass of the other sea demons with each swing. As for Bai Zio, there was even less that needed to be said about him. He was controlling the sea demons and directing them to kill each other. That was even more stunning. In comparison, Zhu Zixin was incredibly weak. He couldn't compare to Ken Feng and Bai Zio, or even the other four peak primals. He was the weakest of them all, so he could only win back some confidence when comparing himself to ordinary four peak experts. He seemed to have received a mental blow and was doing his best to kill those sea demons. But the results weren't anything beyond ordinary. Considering how hard he was trying, he was definitely rapidly using up his energy. His aura was clearly starting to drop. If this continued, Something unexpected could easily take his life. It had to be known that new sea demons might appear at any moment. It's fine. He has been suppressed for a long time. His primal bloodline almost wasted away. If he doesn't awaken it now, it will regress. It's up to him to reawaken it, 
said Long Chen indifferently. He had known Wilde the longest, and so he had a certain understanding of the barbarian race's bloodline. Wilde had never formally awakened his bloodline, but his essence blood had already condensed chains. On the other hand, Zhu Zixing had awakened his bloodline, but the runes in his bloodline were still scattered and couldn't condense into a single link. There was no way he could unleash his full potential like that, Navaloon Khan thus. While his aura was shocking, his actual killing power was curiously low. This was a typical case of having power, but no way to use it. The main reason was that those runes in his essence blood had yet to condense. Practice was progress. Abandoning was regression. Zuzikshin was forced to live like a bug in a crack in his home. He didn't dare to show off at all for fear of drawing a calamity. Thus, although Zhu Zixin had worked hard on his cultivation, he never had a chance to use it, resulting in even his primal runes starting to dissipate. Fortunately, he had come out now. If he had continued like that for three to five more years, his primal bloodline would be gone. This was his best chance to reawaken that bloodline. He needed to get stronger. When that desire grew to a peak, his bloodline runes would sense his need and awaken. Suddenly, a roar came from deep within the sea. That roar was like thunder from a clear sky, shaking the entire battlefield. Yuo Zhu and the others' expressions changed. That's the Deep Sea Devil Race. Chapter 3207 Sea Devil Long Chen's Thunder Force was like tentacles. Any corpse wrapped by his thunder force was pulled into the primal chaos space. Although Lei Linger was still refining the black swords sealed in his left eye, that didn't prevent him from using thunder force. This thunder force might not be strong enough against a real expert, but it was more than enough to suck corpses into the primal chaos space. Seeing Long Chen gather so many corpses in an instant made the experts on the walls jump. Although everyone had astral spaces, it wasn't for corpses. Astral spaces were viewed as pure lands by most people, and these corpses would infect them with death's spiritual kai. It would affect their karmic luck, and maybe even reduce their longevity. Thus, the immortal world's experts did have astral spaces, but would also have spatial rings or spatial bags to store things. But those spatial items had limits to how much they could store. Considering how huge these corpses were, they wouldn't be able to fit too much before they were filled. As for those top-grade spatial rings, they were very expensive. People rarely spent money on such an extravagant thing. There were perhaps only ten to twenty such things in the Ying Prefecture because they were usually not more useful than ordinary spatial rings. After the last attack, the spatial rings that people used for these corpses were mostly full now. Usually those corpses were disposed of in some wilderness. Otherwise, even ignoring the rot, the smell would be too disgusting. If they weren't moved, just the smell would choke the commoners of Ying Prefecture. Long Chen flew across the wall, gathering all the corpses. The battlefield was instantly cleaned up. As others were shocked, Long Chen was delighted. These corpses were quickly nourishing the wood foundation divine trees. They were gradually recovering. The dead medicinal ingredients were also coming back to life and flourishing. His tribulation had shown him just how important the wood foundation divine trees were. If they had been strong enough, why would he have been forced to take the risk of using his purgatory eyes? As long as he could hold on long enough, Lei Linger would slowly manage to devour the black lightning. Long Chen didn't like the feeling of having all his trump cards used up. He preferred having everything under his control because his luck was always lacking. He didn't like gambling, so he could only trust in his power. The Wood Foundation divine trees were his greatest protection. He had to do his best to nourish them as much as possible. After gathering the corpses, Long Chen stood in the air, overlooking the battlefield. 
the majority of the deep-sea crocodile bulls had already been slain. It wouldn't be long before the remainders were wiped out. As the deep-sea crocodile bulls were slain, the army of the Ying prefecture's experts started to switch out. The regular four peak experts stepped into the battlefield. Without the threat of the deep-sea crocodile bulls, the other experts could join the fight. Considering how large this battlefield was, it couldn't be left to just the top experts. They had to be given time to recover. Otherwise, continuous battles would exhaust their power, and if something unexpected happened, they wouldn't be able to handle things. Those experts were the core force of the battlefield. They had to be protected. Thus, on the battlefield, it was always the middle and lower level warriors that took the heaviest losses. There was no way around it. This was the cruelty of battle. Time passed bit by bit. After six hours, the sea demons still showed no signs of stopping. More and more of them were coming out from the depths. Long Chen, you should have kin Feng and Bai Zhaiol rest a bit. The sea demons normally attack for three days at a time. The scale of this attack in particular is rather large, so it might last even longer. They've used up half their physical energy. They need a break. Yuo Zhu and the others returned to Long Chen's side covered in blood. They had tried telling this directly to Qin Feng and Bai Ziaol, but they refused to listen, especially Bai Ziaol. He was too delighted by his control over these sea demons. You can rest. No need to bother with them. There won't be any danger, said Long Chen. He had his own calculations when it came to Bai Ziaol and Qin Feng. But that Duan. Yuo Zhu looked at Zhu Zixing, who was shouting even louder than the sea demons, yet hadn't killed more than a few of them. She was most worried about him. He was truly foolish. Even with all his power, he had no idea how to properly use it. Zhu Zixing had come with Long Chen and the others. Moreover, Qin Feng killed those deep sea crocodile bulls with one stroke of his saber. After they were killed, he killed a whole mass of the other sea demons with each swing. As for Bai Ziaol, there was even less that needed to be said about him. He was controlling the sea demons and directing them to kill each other. That was even more stunning. In comparison, Zhu Zixin was incredibly weak. He couldn't compare to Qin Feng and Bai Ziaol, or even the other four peak primals. He was the weakest of them all, so he could only win back some confidence when comparing himself to ordinary four peak experts. He seemed to have received a mental blow and was doing his best to kill those sea demons. But the results weren't anything beyond ordinary. Considering how hard he was trying, he was definitely rapidly using up his energy. His aura was clearly starting to drop. If this continued, something unexpected could easily take his life. It had to be known that new sea demons might appear at any moment. It's fine. He has been suppressed for a long time. His primal bloodline almost wasted away. If he doesn't awaken it now, it will regress. It's up to him to rewaken it, said Long Chen indifferently. He had known Wilder the longest and so he had a certain understanding of the barbarian race's bloodline. Wilda had never formally awakened his bloodline, but his essence blood had already condensed chains. On the other hand, Zhu Zixin had awakened his bloodline, but the runes in his bloodline were still scattered and couldn't condense into a single link. There was no way he could unleash his full potential like that. Thus, while his aura was shocking, his actual killing power was curiously low. This was a typical case of having power, but no way to use it. The main reason was that those runes in his essence blood had yet to condense. Practice was progress. Abandoning was regression. Zhu Zixin was forced to live like a bug in a crack in his home. He didn't dare to show off at all for fear of drawing a calamity. Thus, although Zhu Zixin had worked hard on his cultivation, he never had a chance to use it, resulting in even his primal runes starting to dissipate. 
Fortunately, he had come out now. If he had continued like that for three to five more years, his primal bloodline would be gone. This was his best chance to rewaken that bloodline. He needed to get stronger. When that desire grew to a peak, his bloodline runes would sense his need and awaken. Suddenly, a roar came from deep within the sea. That roar was like thunder from a clear sky, shaking the entire battlefield. Yuo Zhu and the others' expressions changed. That's the Deep Sea Devil Race. Chapter 3000 208 Two Headed Six Horned Sea Serpent Deep Sea Devil Race. When Yuo Zhu said these four words, her voice trembled. Long Chen then saw expressions of terror appear on the other experts' faces. How could the deep sea devil race appear? That damned Chu family, what did they do to even draw them out? Cursed the Yuo family's experts. Long Chen had read countless books in the High Firmament Academy's library, but there were no records of the devil sea inside it. It was a taboo topic that could not be written on paper. I don't know how many of the deep sea devils will appear. Will we be able to hold on? Just then, a sharp alarm pierced across the battlefield, and all the experts retreated. Baizayol then ordered his army to be the rearguard. Long Chen suddenly noticed that the seawater had changed. The sapphire blue water was turning black, and Long Chen saw dark figures rising out of the depths like black clouds. Sinister auras gradually got closer. Boot! The black seawater exploded, and a giant figure charged across the surface of the water. It was a two-headed serpent. Six-horned sea serpent. Long Chen was startled. This was something that he had encountered on the Martial Heaven continent. Was the six-horned sea serpent actually a species from the immortal world? However, the six-horned sea serpent had two heads and its horns were golden just like its scales. Also, its pupils were not vertical like the six-horned sea serpent on the martial heaven continent, but horizontal. As soon as it appeared, Devil Kai erupted. That aura was sinister, ominous, and bloody. Just feeling that aura drew out the fear in the depths of people's souls. A divine lord realm deep sea devil, the two-headed six-horned sea serpent, Yuo Zhu cried out in shock, recognizing this sea serpent. Nice. This one is mine. Baizayol cried out as well, but his cry was one of excitement. Stars were shining in his eyes. This was the mightiest monster he had ever seen. He then quickly formed hand seals, sending his army of deep sea crocodile bulls at the two headed six horned sea serpent. Those crocodile bulls were as large as mountains, but they appeared much smaller in the face of the six-horned sea serpent. With just a single roar from the six-horned sea serpent, those crocodile bulls stopped in their tracks. At this moment, the mark of the three flower pupils dimmed, and expressions of terror replaced that mark. Baizayol was shocked. They were actually escaping his control. Explode! Bai Zayol instantly had a bad feeling when saw the soles of the crocodile bulls shaking. Just as he started to feel like he would lose control, he took the initiative to detonate them. As a result, those crocodile bulls charged at the sea serpent and detonated one by one. The explosions shook the sea, unleashing huge waves. When three hundred crocodile bulls exploded together, their power could be considered equal to an ultimate destructive move. But the sea serpent was only forced back by it, not injured. Bai Zayol was surprised, but also delighted. He then quickly formed hand seals, and his manifestation of a large pair of eyes appeared behind him. They were like the eyes of a heavenly god. Affected by the eyes, the golden sea serpent shuddered and became immobile. A faint mark slowly appeared in its eyes. Damn, this little fellow has some ability. Baizayol's pupil arts were somehow effective against the sea serpent. 
that was a bit outside of Long Chen's expectations. Novelo Comet had to be known that those deep sea crocodile bulls were fourth rank sea demons whose combat power was only at the level of ordinary divine lords. Outside of the sea, their power was also limited. However, this sea serpent was different. Based on that towering devil Kai and its astonishing bloodline pressure, it was almost on par with a primal divine lord. Even such a terrifying life form was unable to resist the three flower pupils. Baizyal had just awakened his bloodline power, and his control over the three flower pupils was still rough, but he could still do this. Based on this, it seemed possible that the heavenly eye race truly possessed the ability to hack stars slash moons and invert the cosmos. Perhaps that was no exaggerated legend. Kin Feng, take the right, Long Chen suddenly shouted. Kin Feng was beside Bai Sayol, protecting him. He immediately swung his saber to the right. No dragon blood warrior ever slacked when it came to Long Chen's orders, so he reacted instantly. That didn't just require absolute trust, but also constant drilling and training to create that habit. This habit could decide life or death. When Kin Feng's saber fell, the sea exploded. Another giant sea serpent's tail was whipping toward Bai Sayol with shocking speed. However, this tail struck Kin Feng's saber just as he attacked. As a result, the saber image exploded, and the tail was knocked away. Huge waves erupted on the sea. Kin Feng's expression changed. That attack came without any warning. If it hadn't been for Long Chen's warning, Bai Zayol would have been struck. He couldn't move while he was trying to control the sea serpent. Zayol, leave. There's not just one sea serpent, shouted Kin Feng. There was no longer any time for Bai Zayol to do his thing. Hence, Kin Feng grabbed him and ran. Just then, the water exploded once more, and two giant heads soared out. Just as Kin Feng said his warning, another two-headed golden sea serpent charged out. One of those mounts opened, unleashing a giant spinning water arrow. It was as quick as lightning and pierced through a distant mountain. Just then, the three flower pupils spun in Bai Ziol's eyes and space settled. He and Kin Feng appeared beside Long Chen. He had used his spatial art to dodge that water arrow. One sea serpent after another appeared out of the water. Upon seeing this, people's hearts sank. These sea serpents were no ordinary sea demons. They had devil Kai coiling around them, so they were the true devils from the depths of the sea. They were nightmares. What a pity. Just a bit more and I would have had it. Damn it. If only I had listened to Mom and trained more, I definitely could have controlled it, said Bai Zyol hatefully. Ever since his bloodline had awakened, Bai Zyol started to get flighty. Having awakened so many divine abilities at once, he almost felt unmatched. He had no sense of danger, nor did he have the patience to bitterly practice those abilities. He couldn't endure that boredom and dullness. He only liked it when others stared at him in shock and worship. Now he regretted it. If he had listened to his mother, he wouldn't have needed so much time to take control of the sea serpent. As furious roars rang out, hundreds of golden sea serpents charged out. What shocked Long Chen was that their target was actually Kin Fang. He suddenly came to a realization. These deep sea devils didn't come out because of the Chu family. They were drawn over by the resonance dragon blood. What? Yuo Zhu and the others were startled. Chapter 3209 Raging Flames Fill the Heavens, Boss. You absorbed the true dragon essence blood, so they should be drawn to you. No. Kin Feng also saw that these sea serpents were eyeing him. He felt a chill. I didn't use my dragon blood power so they naturally didn't sense it. Let's not talk about such useless things. Those serpents are quite powerful. Since you drew them over, it's on us to handle them. Yuo Zhu, 
Please tell Senior Yuo Changwu that there is no need for him to do anything big. I'll deal with them, said Long Chen. Long Chen saw runes starting to light up on the commander tower. This was clearly the preparation for some big move, and such a thing would definitely cost a lot. Since the serpents were drawn over by them, he couldn't make others pay the price for it. Yuo Zhu hastily went to report it, but the commander tower's runes continued to shine. Clearly, Liuo Chang was preparing for the worst case if Long Chen couldn't stop the sea serpents. Although it would cost an immense price, lives were always more important than money. Xiao, bring Ken Fang into their midst. Buy me some time, ordered Long Chen. Boss, can you not kill them all? Leave me one behind. I want to ride it back to the academy, said Bai Zio. He wasn't worried for Long Chen at all like the others. Instead, he was worried for the sea serpents. Scram, is there any space in the academy to release such a thing? Get to work, scolded Long Chen. This little fellow was actually thinking about getting himself a mount. Bai Zio was still childish and liked to show off. He was a bit similar to Guo Ran in this regard. If the two of them met, they might become an inseparable pair. Bai Zio sadly formed hand seals. In just a moment, he and Kin Feng vanished. Long Chen then stepped into the air, soaring up like a bolt of lightning. As he held his right elbow with his left hand, a flame lotus gradually grew in front of him. He then began chanting, and the sound of a sacred sutra resounded throughout heaven and earth. At that moment, the entire world became fiery. The flame lotus on Long Chen's hand rapidly grew. As he chanted the Nirvana scripture, flame energy gathered from every direction. The fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture was activated, filling the world with what sounded like the murmuring of gods. It was a sacred and holy aura that made even immortals and devils lower their heads. At that moment, Long Chen seemed to become the god of fire. All the flame energies in the world were under his control, and they had to listen to him. This was Long Chen's first time going all out with the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture. He hadn't been able to use it before due to the worry that his body wouldn't be able to endure such immense flame energy. The other important thing was that in battles against others, he rarely had a chance to accumulate so much energy. After all, his enemies weren't so stupid as to just patiently wait for him to accumulate power. However, after refining the Golden Dragon scale and condensing the Golden Dragon battle armor as well as advancing to the Four Peak Realm, he no longer had so many misgivings. He freely utilized the flame energy of heaven and earth. Bursts of flames gathered from every direction. Standing in the sky, Long Chen condensed all this flame energy into his flame lotus. It greedily consumed all this energy and rapidly inflated. The flame lotus was like a starving beast. No matter how much it consumed, it never became full. It grew larger and larger along with its terrifying pressure. Jaws dropped down below as people stared at that giant flame lotus. They felt a sensation of death coming from it, one that made their hair stand on end. It had to be known that Long Chen's lotus wasn't targeting any of them. Despite that, these experts had a feeling that this thing could definitely take their lives. At the Nine Prefecture Convention, Long Chen made his name known. In the Divine Flame Realm, he had killed Divine Lords, even slaying the City Lord of Silver Moon City, a late-stage Divine Lord. As for his heavenly tribulation that had wiped out all the experts of the Bloodkill Hall, that was a shocking matter, but no one here had seen it. When they heard such a thing, it was treated as nothing more than a story. Some people even guessed that the heavenly tribulation was nothing more than a pretense, and what had truly wiped out the Bloodkill Hall's experts was the current dean of the High Firmament Academy. The dean had perhaps borrowed Long Chen's tribulation to unleash a destructive blow. After all, 
they didn't want to be accused of bullying the weak, so they made Long Chen the one responsible. At the same time, they gave him another layer of brilliant light. Thus, most people only half believed that Long Chen's tribulation had killed all those experts. They would be more willing to believe that the High Firmament Academy's dean had secretly made a move. That made far more sense. As a result, while there was no need to question Long Chen's power, it hadn't reached a mythic level. People trusted what they saw with their own eyes and judged the truth on what they had experienced. The basic evaluation that most people had for the current Four Peak Long Chen was that he could definitely kill ordinary divine lords easily, but primal divine lords would be a bit difficult. Perhaps one or two primal divine lords weren't a match for him, but he definitely wouldn't be able to fight five of them at once. Long Chen was still the number one figure of the junior generation in their hearts. It was just that people should be rational. They shouldn't turn Long Chen into a god in their eyes. However, when this flame, Lotus, appeared, the world shuddered and the ten thousand Daos wailed. Ordinary divine lords were as tiny as ants in front of it. This fellow is even more terrifying than the stories. He's not human. He's a monster. The four peak primals and the divine lords all stare in horror. From now on, if anyone else questioned Long Chen's power, they would definitely beat them. Long Chen's flame lotus continued to grow. As for Bai Ziyol and Qin Feng, they were shuffling across the battlefield, occasionally appearing and then vanishing. Those sea serpents were crazily chasing down Qin Feng and couldn't be bothered to even look at the other experts on the land. Suddenly, Long Chen's flame lotus began shuddering. Long Chen thought to himself, my body is fine. But Huo Long has reached its limit. This flame lotus was controlled by Huo Long. When the flame energy of heaven and earth surpassed Huo Long's control, that was a dangerous moment. It might just explode before even leaving his hand. However, this power is enough. Long Chen smiled. He suddenly shouted to Bai Xiaol, get out of the way. After that, the giant flame lotus fell down like a meteorite from outside the heavens, smashing straight toward those sea serpents. Chapter 3210, Apocalyptic Flame Lotus Bai Xiaol used his spatial art, sending him and Qin Feng away. Just as they vanished, a giant flame lotus exploded amongst the sea serpents. Boom. The flame lotus smashed into the sea, sinking the surface of the water and forming a giant depression. As the flame lotus disintegrated, heaven and earth shuddered. After that, huge waves exploded. Flames and water wove together into a vortex of destruction. Astral winds that were mixed with the seawater unleashed a storm upon Ying Prefecture. As a result, Giant waves struck the wall on the coast, and the experts behind the wall heard thunderous rumbling. They all turned pale. This power had surpassed their understanding. The huge waves gradually stopped. Looking at the Devil Sea, they saw that flames were still burning on top of it. But now, countless corpses littered it, and the water was boiling. Long Chen's flame lotus had actually ignited the sea water. Ever since ancient times, water and fire would subdue each other. People had never heard of a flame capable of igniting water. In truth, it wasn't the water that was burning. It was Long Chen's flame energy that had entered the sea. Due to the repulsion of water and fire, the flame energy that had sunk down below was released back to the surface. Unlike on land, the power of the flame lotus wasn't able to spread limitlessly in the water. It was contained by the water, and more of it continued to float back to the surface, causing people to feel like the water was burning. However, Long Chen's attack did cause countless burned corpses to float to the surface. Those corpses were as big as mountains. Even the sea serpents, which were originally golden, had turned charred black, they were all dead. 
The temperature was just perfect. Long Chen smiled. If this attack was unleashed on land, not even a trace of these corpses would be left. The seawater had reduced the flame lotus's power, allowing these beasts to retain their corpses. That was precisely what Long Chen wanted. It wasn't perfect at all. My treasures, not even one is left alive. You poor babies, you all died so miserably. Bai Zayol had a mournful expression as he looked at the corpses of the sea serpents. Those sea serpents truly did appear mighty, so he wanted one as a steed. He thought that Long Chen would leave a few alive for him. But they were all dead now. Such good mounts had been turned into roast snakes. Seeing this scene, Bai Zayol almost wept. Yuo Zhu and the others recovered from their shock. Looking at Bai Sayol's expression, they didn't know whether to be angry or to laugh. Such terrifying sea serpents had actually been treated as pets by him. It had to be known that those were no demonic beasts but deep-sea devils. Little fellow, if you want to follow boss, you need to grow up a bit. With how smelly these things are, can you use them as mounts? Won't you choke from the smell first? Furthermore, with boss... You can find any good mount that you want. Don't embarrass yourself and boss here, scolded Kin Fen. Who cares if they are smelly or not? Wait, how are they smelly? Take a sniff, don't you think? They smell kind of tasty. Bai Zayol took a few deep sniffs, and Kin Feng rolled his eyes. However, after being cooked like this, they truly didn't smell bad anymore. Zayol... This sea serpent isn't a demonic beast. It's a deep sea devil. You can't eat their meat, or you'll be infected by their devil blood soul, said Luo Bing hastily when she saw Bai Zhao itching to try it. All right, stop messing around. Clean up the battlefield. Who knows when the next attack will come? Shouted Long Chen to stop Bai Zhao. Long Chen had ended the battle with a single attack. The world extermination flame lotus had exploded in the depths of the sea, killing the other sea demons that had been swimming over. As far as the eye could see, the sea was covered by endless corpses. Cleaning them all up would definitely take some time. Long Chen, this attack really was marvelous. You helped us out immensely. Otherwise, if we had activated the attack of the commander tower... We'd need to tighten our belts for maybe half a year, said Luo Changwu, walking over. Senior is too kind. Those sea serpents were clearly drawn over by Kin Fang's resonance dragon essence blood. We were just cleaning our own butts, said Long Chen. Commander, Long Chen isn't an outsider. There's no need to be overly courteous. That's right. Long Chen, didn't you say that you want those corpses? Do you want their demonic cores? asked Luo Zhu. No, I don't need their demonic cores. I'd only want their corpses, said Long Chen. For ordinary experts, the demonic cores were the real treasures. They contained the essence of the sea demon's life. The Ying Prefecture fought against the sea demons every year, putting a large amount of manpower into dealing with them. However, thinking about it, obtaining those demonic cores made it so that their work wasn't for nothing. With it, they could compensate the families of those who died, and there was always a surplus. If they had enough power to guarantee that there were no losses, then their gains were quite considerable. Furthermore, as they were collaborating with the Huayan Trading Company, there was no need to worry about the market. The flesh of these sea demons is trash, not valuable at all. Why would you want it? asked Liu Ning. I this... Long Chen was a bit embarrassed. It really wasn't easy for him to answer this question. Ning Er, how can you randomly ask about other people's secrets? Liu Cheng Wu immediately gave Liu Ning a look. But he knew that Long Chen was closest with Liu Ning and Liu Bing, so Long Chen wouldn't get angry over such a small matter. Thus, he wasn't in a position to chide her too much. If you want the corpses, then it's simple. 
we have countless spatial rings here packed with their corpses we were going to toss them in the wilderness but if you want them you can take as many as you want i don't know if you can hold so many though said liuo changwu whether or not he could hold enough what kind of joke was that his primal chaos space was absolutely gigantic i want as many as you have how coincidental you have something you need to get rid of that i absolutely want it's so convenient laughed long chen this really was a nice coincidence really i'll have people bring over ten of our largest spatial rings in just a bit the Luo family's experts brought over ten spatial rings. Long Chen opened them and found that they weren't bad. They had a space of a thousand square miles and were packed with corpses. Long Chen didn't need to bring the spatial rings into the primal chaos space, so he directly brought the corpses inside. In just a few seconds, the ten spatial rings were emptied. Seeing that Long Chen could take the corpses like that, Yuo Changwu was pleasantly surprised. This would save them quite some trouble. Yuo Chang ordered people to take the spatial rings and clean up the battlefield. He also ordered people who still had corpses in their spatial rings to bring them to Long Chen. As a result, countless corpses piled up within Long Chen's primal chaos space. The Wood Foundation divine trees rapidly grew, sensing their immense life energy. Long Chen clenched his fists. His trump card had finally returned and was growing even stronger. Chapter 3211 The Hesitation of the Inner Heart Almost all of the Ying Prefecture's experts had spatial rings with a large number of sea demon corpses in them. There was no way around it. They fought with the sea demons year round, and these corpses had to be disposed of in a far off, desolate land to avoid affecting others however with long chen accepting them all they didn't need to make the extra effort there was no transportation formation leading to that desolate wilderness moreover it was said that there were some legendary desolate creatures living in the depths of that land and even immortal kings didn't dare to enter too deeply every time they set the corpses there they did it carefully to avoid disturbing those terrifying creatures. Now, there was no need to worry. Long Chen took all those corpses off of their hands. Due to the immortal world's laws, it wasn't so easy to create spatial rings. Making it required a craftsman on the level of an immortal king to insert the spatial runes as well as precious materials. Fortunately, people already had astral spaces, so there were many scenarios where spatial rings were required. To waste such extravagant items on storing corpses was naturally very uncomfortable for these experts, but it was better than simply casting the corpses on their land. With an unending stream of corpses entering the primal chaos space, the Wood Foundation divine trees rapidly grew. The region of the black soil was so big that all these corpses combined were nothing more than an appetizer for it. The Wood Foundation divine trees were only three meters thick, but they were two hundred miles tall. Looking from the top, they were so thin that they were like threads of silk. It was an extremely odd appearance. In fact, they were so tall that Long Chen was starting to worry they would break themselves. However, at three hundred miles tall, they stopped growing taller and began to thicken. The rate at which they thickened was far slower than when they grew taller. As they thickened, their life energy multiplied. As Long Chen emptied the spatial rings, more spatial rings were available to gather more corpses on the battlefield. The Ying Prefecture's experts then split up the tasks with a portion of them gathering the corpses and a portion of them gathering the cores. Long Chen even saw people recording things as they worked. Clearly, they had their own system that was very effective for handling the cores. However, Long Chen's world extermination flame lotus had not just killed the sea demons at the surface, but also the ones that had yet to come out of the depths. Because of it, Millions of experts worked for six full hours before the battlefield was emptied. When the battle spoils were publicly announced, 
people couldn't believe their ears. They had obtained over a hundred million cores. Just how many sea demons have Long Chen killed with that one attack? It had to be known that not every sea demon had a core. Due to their power not being concentrated in a core, their power was distributed throughout their bodies, making their physical bodies incredibly powerful. However, the lack of a core also meant that they couldn't use divine abilities. To humans, they were slightly easier to deal with. After fighting with the sea demons for so many years, the Ying Prefecture's experts were aware that amongst third-rank sea demons or four-peak sea demons, only 30% had a core. Amongst fourth-rank sea demons, around 50% had a core. That was because for sea demons without cores, it was harder to accumulate enough energy to advance. In other words, Long Chen had killed far more sea demons than the number of obtained cores. It was an unimaginable number. After learning about all this, Long Chen understood why he had gained so much life energy. The sea demons gave him more life energy than the devil beasts do to the former lacking cores. Everyone looked at Long Chen reverently. As for the junior generation, their blood was boiling fiercely. They would never be able to forget that attack in this lifetime. Yuo Chengwu actually felt a bit embarrassed upon seeing the number of cores they had gained. Many of them were top-grade cores, and the cores of the sea serpents in particular were very valuable. Long Chen said that he didn't want the cores, but they were incredibly valuable. Furthermore, this wasn't just a matter for the Yuo family, but the entirety of the Ying prefecture. However, only the Yuo family owed a debt for this. That was a bit inappropriate. Even so, Yuo Changwu also knew Long Chen's character, and he knew that Long Chen might get angry if he forcibly tried to split the profits with him. This fellow was very proud, so Yuo Changwu could only put this matter aside for now. After the battlefield was cleaned up, the Devil Sea once more returned to its deathly silence. However, this calmness was extremely frightening. It felt like some terrifying monsters might just charge out of the depths at any moment. Boss, I think I should go back. At this point, Zhu Zixin came over to Long Chen dispiritedly. Long Chen smiled. Like, did you receive the blow? Zhu Zixin nodded. I had no chance to use my power and be a hero at home. It was difficult to get out this time, and I wanted to get famous in the heavenly swell domain, only to find that when I had a chance to use my power, I had no power at all and was no hero. Zhu Zixin's words were very downhearted. This battle had shown him that he was far too weak, weak to the point that he had the urge to kill himself. He had never thought that his status as a primal, something that he was so proud of, was nothing more than a joke. Bai Zio, Liu Bing, Liu Ning, and the others all felt a bit bad for him. He was truly pitiable. When frogs at the bottom of the well saw the outside world, it wasn't just excitement at seeing the greater world, but also a great blow to their confidence. The current Zhu Zixing seemed to have lost all hope. Navalun, come like Xiaol and Kin Feng, you call me boss, and I don't reject you. That's because you have the barbarian race's blood in your body. I once received a favor from one of the barbarian race's experts, and he bestowed me with a treasured blade, Blood Rinker. I also have a brother from the barbarian race. It can be said that my relationship with the barbarian race runs very deep. As long as you really want to get stronger, you will definitely obtain your wish by following me. As for being a hero, you might have misunderstood. Someone with strong martial power is not a hero. I can only make sure that you get stronger. As for turning you into a hero, that's not possible for me, said Long Chen. I... I really can get stronger? Asked Zhu Zixin, his hope reigniting. Don't get emotional. Boss has never said any empty words. Just properly follow Boss in the future. And even a fool like you can get a fool's blessing, said Kin Fein, dragging Zhu Zixin to the side. 
he saw that Liu Chang seemed to want to talk with Long Chen. Long Chen, our Liuo family, is ashamed to make you join in a fight as soon as you arrive here. The Devil Sea has settled now, so why don't you come to my humble home? The family head must have been looking forward to seeing you, said Liuo Changwu. He had arranged to bring Long Chen and the others back to the Liuo family. When Liuo Changwu mentioned the family head, even Long Chen couldn't help having his heart beat faster. He knew that this was his mother's father, his grandfather. However, Long Chen didn't know if he would be able to control his rage when he saw his grandfather. Would he be able to hold back from questioning why the family head had tossed aside his own daughter like that? Long Chen didn't know just how he should face this grandfather of his. Hence, he took a deep breath. I can only take things step by step. If being forceful doesn't work, I can only be even more forceful. Chapter 3000 212 Blood Kill Order Yuo Changwu left things in the hands of one of his trusted subordinates. After using the commander tower to investigate the ripples of the Devil Sea once more, he left with Long Chen and the others. However, just as they walked out of the commander tower, they saw the Grand Elder walking over with a group of people. Grand Elder, why have you come? Yuo Changwu was startled. He had just taken over the Grand Elder's shift here. Why would the Grand Elder return? The family head has ordered me to bring Long Chen back. You are to continue guarding this place. The Chu family has done something to the Devil Sea, and we cannot be the slightest bit careless right now, said the Grand Elder. Yuo Changwu nodded. It truly was not good for him to leave the front lines. But since Long Chen had come to them, it would be rude if he didn't personally accompany him. It would be as if he didn't view Long Chen as important enough. However, it would be appropriate for the Grand Elder to accompany Long Chen instead. Furthermore, it was the family head who had ordered the Grand Elder to receive him. That was naturally to get rid of the grudge between the Grand Elder and Long Chen. Then I'll entrust this matter to you. Long Chen, you can go with the Grand Elder. The family head and the others are also waiting, said Liuo Changwu with a smile. Long Chen nodded. Grand Elder, I'm sorry to trouble you. My handling of your grandson's matter truly wasn't good enough. I ask that you not take offense. Long Chen extended a hand as he walked toward him. After all, I did not do that intentionally. Let us have this matter end like this. His meaning by extending his hand was quite clear. Everyone could shake hands and let the matter rest. Hence, Liuo Changwu nodded in praise. Even at such a young age, even in possession of such power, Long Chen didn't let his arrogance control him. Even though Liuo Qingyang's matter couldn't be blamed on him, he took the initiative in reconciling, expressing his magnanimity and giving face to the Liuo family. The Grand Elder hesitated slightly, and Liuo Changwu said, Grand Elder, Long Chen has expressed his sincerity. Don't be so stubborn. If the Grand Elder didn't give Long Chen face, then Long Chen would very likely turn hostile right here. Liuo Changwu knew that the Grand Elder was stubborn, but this matter related to the entire Liuo family's honor. He trusted that the Grand Elder would make the correct decision. As he expected, the Grand Elder also extended his hand. When they locked hands, Liuo Changwu sighed with relief. Just then, as Long Chen held the Grand Elder's hand, Long Chen's left hand pierced through the Grand Elder's chest. Blood splashed. Everyone was stunned by this sudden turn of events. The Liuo family's experts instantly took out their weapons, their killing intent soaring. Long Chen, what are you doing? Yuo Changwu was shocked and enraged. He was unable to understand why Long Chen would want to kill the Grand Elder. Furthermore, flame runes were flowing on top of Long Chen's arm. They were still condensed, so the Grand Elder's life was entirely in Long Chen's hands. No one dared to make any rash moves. Everyone was dumbfounded. 
Yuo Bing, Yuo Zhu, and the others didn't dare to believe their eyes. Let alone them. Even Bai Xiaol and Qin Feng were stunned. Why? raged the Grand Elder. Long Chen smiled. That smile had a touch of derision to it. Why ask when you know the answer? You aren't the Grand Elder. You're all fakes. What if? Hearing that, everyone was even more shocked. Even Liuo Chang was startled. The Grand Elder's appearance, gaze, and even his spiritual fluctuations were all familiar. How could it be a fake? Long Chen snickered. Your imitation is truly amazing. Even your spiritual fluctuations are able to match the real one. Regretfully, fake is fake. There are always flaws. The Grand Elder does have hostility toward me, but no killing intent. That's your fatal mistake. In the lower world, I'd often fought against your Blood Kill Hall's assassins, so I've seen all your tricks. That hesitation you had over shaking my hand was because you were pondering whether or not to kill me at that moment. The hidden runes on your palm also vanished when you extended your hand. My guess is that you're a clone, and when you saw the chance, you wanted to kill me, but the true body ordered you to abandon that chance. The clone cannot defy the will of the true body, so you could only accept it. I don't know if all of what I said is correct, so do you have anything to say? The Grand Elder suddenly laughed, as expected of the existence, that the killing god has issued the blood kill order for. I was seen through. The Grand Elder's words stunned everyone. This Grand Elder really was a fake. Just then, the figures beside the Grand Elder moved. But a cold light flashed, and those people were cut in two. Yuo Chang was shaved his sword. Other than Long Chen, no one saw what he had done. Even Long Chen was stunned inside. The speed of his sword was astonishing. First came his will, and then the actual thought. Clearly, Yuo Changwu had launched his attack before they even moved. This was a kind of mental lock. As soon as an opponent moved, the body automatically reacted. That was an extremely profound realm. Furthermore, the moment he attacked, violet light appeared on his sword. That was his bloodline divine ability. Although Yuo Changwu hadn't used much of his blood kai, Long Chen still sensed his bloodline pressure. He was definitely a primal divine lord, and an extremely frightening one at that. Clearly, Liuo Changwu was hiding his true power. His expression was extremely ugly at the moment. The Bloodkill Hall has gone too far. They really think that the Liuo family is easy to bully. For the Bloodkill Hall to dare to assassinate people within the Liuo family's territory was already an insult and provocation, but even more importantly, the target was a guest like Long Chen. This was clearly looking down on them. For the assassins to even disguise themselves as the Grand Elder and the others, it was intolerable. Even with his patience and steadiness, Liuo Changwu's anger flared. He directly killed those people. Ha ha ha, the Blood Kill Hall has issued the Blood Kill Order. All the Blood Kill assassins within the Nine Heavens and Ten lands have their sights on Long Chen. Do you know what the Blood Kill Order signifies? It is the highest glory and honor for the one who accomplishes it. Such a thing has only been issued three times throughout all of history. The one who accomplishes it will receive the Blood Kill Order badge, and that glory will drive the killing god's followers crazy. Do you think they will care about your Luo family? some insignificant descendants of the violet blood race, sneered the fake Grand Elder. Long Chen indifferently said, The Blood Kill Order is a bit interesting, but the Blood Kill Hall's assassins are supposed to be at the same realm as the target, and even the level lower. How is there a Divine Lord assassin here? The Blood Kill Hall really is shameless. You clearly don't really care about honor and glory but you wish to be claimed as the most glorious and honorable assassins. You have no bottom line. You'll assassinate anyone with no rules at all, but still want to look all elegant and classy. 
it seems that packing it Yudas divine statue with crack was correct all your heads are full of crap you blasphemed the killing god you will face your retribution sooner or later roared that assassin clearly long chen's words had stabbed him where it hurt when the news of impudas divine statue being used as a dung pit spread countless people were dumbfounded as for impuda himself he was enraged that was what resulted in the blood till order if you want to find my true body through this clone you must be dreaming the assassin suddenly roared and his body rapidly inflated but long chen shoved his arm and the assassin was thrown into the air he then exploded even in death you have to disgust me as expected sneered long chen he turned to luo changwu senior shouldn't be angry the blood kill hall is a group of shameless fellows let us go see the family head let's go we won't let this matter end like this the luo family isn't an existence that anyone can bully we'll report this to the family head Yuo Changwu took a deep breath and suppressed his fury. He then brought Long Chen and the others away. Chapter 3213 Honing Heavenly Staircase Using the Bloodkill Hall Assassin's Clone, Long Chen had tried to pinpoint the location of his true body. Unfortunately, he hadn't managed to succeed. Long Chen could sense that the true body was secretly watching things here from a certain location, but it was too far or he was using some secret art. Heads, Long Chen was unable to tell the exact location. Just as Long Chen was tracking the clone's blood soul power back to its source, the assassin chose to detonate his clone. Long Chen's goal was clearly seen through. Although the clone was dead, Long Chen was still a bit worried. This fellow was hiding in the dark, ready to attack at any moment. Long Chen felt like a pair of eyes was watching his back. This person was a late stage, primal divine lord. If Long Chen had been the slightest bit negligent, this assassin would have had a chance to kill him. It had to be known that assassins were killers who killed people across realms. Long Chen wasn't that afraid of himself being targeted. He was more worried about this fellow targeting the people beside him in order to provoke him. In his fury, he might show an opening. The Bloodkill Hall's assassins were willing to use any means necessary to achieve their goal. Back then, they had even used a child like Dong Minjiu in an attempt to kill him. That was enough to show him that they deserved to be exterminated. Other than in Puda, they had no respect for anything, so they were capable of doing anything as well. That was the most troubling thing for Long Chen. It could be said that Imputa had made his absolute determination to kill Long Chen this time. His blood kill order turned Long Chen into the target for all his followers, making it so that Long Chen would be pestered to death. Come then, let's see if you have more people than I can kill. Long Chen sneered inside. Within the heavenly swell domain, Imputa was too afraid of the high firmament academy to come himself. Hence, he could only send his followers. Furthermore, for Imputa, a world king, someone who had made a name for himself countless years ago, to come personally kill a four-peak disciple would be a complete loss of face. After all, Imputa had quite the reputation to uphold in the immortal world. In other words, as long as Long Chen didn't leave the heavenly swell domain, Imputa wouldn't be able to come after him personally it seemed that he was testing the attitude of the high firmament academy by sending divine lord assassins that seemed to still be within the realm of tolerance for the high firmament academy perhaps the academy had faith in long chen and only viewed these assassinations as trials long chen had only heard of the blood kill order today and he believed that the higher ups of the academy couldn't have not known about it they simply hadn't told him about it. Long Chen hadn't even finished anything in the Yuo family, but the Bloodkill Hall was once more causing trouble. Long Chen had a belly full of fire, but when he thought of Incuda's head filled with crack, he felt a bit better. 
the current Long Chen needed to maintain a good mood. He couldn't always get angry, or the negative emotions would nourish the dark energy. Moreover, his eye had yet to recover, so he didn't dare to once more unleash the power of the purgatory eyes. He was constantly wearing an eye patch, making him appear like a one-eyed person. Although he didn't really care what he looked like, he did feel a bit uncomfortable. Senior, what is going on with the devil, see? Why would so many sea demons come onto the land? What did the Chu family do? asked Long Chen as they sat on the flying boat back to the Liuo family. This battlefield did have a transportation formation that could directly bring them, but that would be rude. Thus, they sat on a flying boat. This was Long Chen's first time in the Ying Prefecture, so the Liuo family had to be a good host. The Ying Prefecture was also known as the Wetlands Prefecture. There were countless mountain ranges with glades and ponds around them. It was a very beautiful scenery, but Long Chen wasn't in the mood to enjoy the scenery. He wanted to know about the Devil Sea. Yuo Chengu answered, There is a certain legend about the Devil Sea. It is said that some terrifying devil died within it during the primal chaos era, and the Devil Sea was formed out of its blood. It has an irregular form, like snakes of the entire immortal world. The Devil Sea is not actually in the shape of a sea, but more like a river. It grows, producing endless sea demons and deep sea devils. It is said that there are many levels in its depths, and the deeper you go, the higher the status of the devils you'll find. The so-called sea demons that we've encountered are nothing more than the lowest level of pawns, the most active but weakest group. Due to the current, some sea demons often wash up on land, and finding life forms here, they'll try to consume them. To put it more frankly, whether it is sea demons or deep sea devils, they are like fish in the sea, coming wave by wave. Once a wave is killed, there is no way to predict when the next wave will come. The sea serpents that you killed very rarely appear. They normally view sea demons as their food and rarely come onto land. What is that devil from the primal chaos era? Bai Ziol couldn't help interjecting. Yuo Chang bitterly smiled. No one can say for sure. Such a legend is hard to believe. Since Long Chen asked, I tried to answer. But don't take it too seriously. The human race's history could only be traced back to the immemorial era. As for the desolate era, there were only some primitive diagrams that people couldn't understand. They could only try to infer things based on their own imagination. However, every person inferred different things. Those diagrams were difficult to comprehend. Thus, there were many legends of the desolate era, but their veracity could not be confirmed. That was even more true of the primal chaos era that occurred even further in the past. Thus, many legends were just treated as stories to be heard. There was no need to take them too seriously. No wonder I didn't encounter a single sea demon when I crossed the Devil Sea. It seems that I didn't run into that wave, said Zhu Zixin. Yuo Changwu nodded. Your luck was good. Due to the mist on top of the Devil Sea, if you travel too fast, it will cause friction that wears down the runes of a flying boat. Thus, traveling between the Heavenly Star Domain and the Heavenly Swell Domain through the Devil Sea will require at least twenty days. Normally when crossing, especially when crossing the center, you'll encounter several waves of attacks, maybe even dozens. Only a few powers have experts with blood runes to drive those sea demons away. Others will have to endure the attacks, and especially when crossing the center, that will easily disturb the deep sea devils. Once a fight starts, you will very likely find yourself buried within the Devil Sea. For you to have crossed the Devil Sea by yourself, your luck is truly heaven-defying. Even now, I'm finding it hard to believe. Hearing that, Long Chen sank into thought. At this moment, an exceedingly brazen thought rose within him. He felt like the Devil Sea was a good place. 
the Luo family was located within a range of stone mountains. Stone swords were like forests, and not a single blade of grass grew. This place almost seemed a bit desolate. Long Chen almost couldn't believe his eyes. With Long Chen's arrival, countless experts came to greet them. After all, Long Chen's medicinal pills had helped them out immensely in their time of need. The Liuo family would naturally welcome him warmly. Suddenly, just as he was off of the flying boat, a detached and mighty voice rang out as if descending from above the nine heavens. Bring him to the honing heavenly staircase. Chapter 3214 Who is more arrogant? That voice wasn't loud or angry, yet it contained unquestionable might. Even Long Chen felt his heart pounding when he heard it. Just from this voice, Long Chen could sense the pride and stubbornness within the speaker's bones. Just the voice alone made his heart fall. He was similar to Long Chen in some areas. This person would never change the things that he had decided on, nor would he ever feel remorse for the things that he had done. As a result, it was probably going to be a clash of two sharp points. Long Chen had come to investigate his mother, but just this voice made him feel like it was going to be far more difficult than he had expected. As for Luo Changwu and the other members of the Luo family, when they heard the voice mention the honing heavenly staircase, all their expressions changed. But not one person dared to contradict him. Family head Long Chen has just set foot into the Four Peak Realm, said Luo Changwu hesitantly. However, no response came. Clearly, the family head had decided on this matter, and there was no room for negotiation. After a bit, Seeing no response, Liuo Chen was sighed and turned to Long Chen apologetically. Long Chen, maybe you shouldn't have come. Why don't you go back and return when you've reached the Divine Lord Realm? What? Is that honing heavenly staircase a mountain of blades or a deep friar? Asked Long Chen. You might not know this, but the honing heavenly staircase is a trial ground of our Liuo family. There are ninety-nine steps on it, and it is a remnant from ancient times. The first forty-nine steps are for four peak disciples, while the top forty-nine steps are for divine lords. My talent is limited, and I only reached the seventy-ninth step. Afterward, I never tried again. In the recent history of the Liuo family, only the family head managed to climb all ninety-nine steps and he did it at the late Four Peak Realm. To have you someone who has just advanced to the Four Peak Realm also climb the honing heavenly staircase. It truly is difficult, said Liuo Chang with difficulty. After all, in so many generations of the Liuo family, only one such terrifying figure had appeared, and now he was using himself as the standard. No, it should be said that he was requesting an even higher standard from Long Chen. However, Liuo Zichuan possessed absolute authority within the Liuo family. No one could question his orders, not even Liuo Changwu, his own son. On the other hand, Long Chen had helped the Liuo family immensely in their time of need and was viewed very importantly by the Liuo family. For them to treat him like this was a bit unacceptable. Yuo Chang was unable to comprehend what his father was thinking. Since the family head wishes it, wouldn't it mean that I'm afraid if I don't go? If the family head could climb it, well, while I naturally can't compete with the family head, I do have the courage to at least try, said Long Chen. Knowing that this was a trial his grandfather had set for him, Long Chen felt even greater ire for him. He had already given the Luo family so many benefits. Even if the Luo family was arrogant and didn't need to fawn over him, it seemed that they weren't qualified to stand on airs with him. No, if it weren't for his mother, would he have to suffer this grievance? They wanted to test him. Then come. Long Chen was also extremely proud and arrogant. Liu Zichuan was using his own path to test Long Chen, so how could he retreat? The feeling that Long Chen got from Luo Zichuan was that he was exceedingly prideful. 
even though Long Chen had helped the Liuo family, if Long Chen wished to speak to him, he had to have the proper qualifications. And those qualifications were for him to ascend the honing heavenly staircase. For there to be such an unreasonable person in this world made Long Chen angry. Fine, he would use his power to show that he didn't lack the same arrogance. Liu Chang also saw that despite Long Chen's smile, he was a bit angry. That was precisely what he had been most afraid of. The honing heavenly staircase wasn't something that could be forcibly climbed. If a person couldn't recognize their limit and forced it, they would die. It was unknown just how many arrogant heavenly geniuses of the Liuo family had died climbing the honing heavenly staircase. If Long Chen lost his life here after overstepping his limit, wouldn't the Liuo family become the laughing stock of the world? He didn't understand why his father would do this, but Liuo Zichuan never explained his actions. From the top to bottom, all members of the Liuo family simply had to obey him. Yuo Chengwu saw Long Chen's anger and couldn't help, feeling profoundly helpless. If he tried to advise Long Chen now, it would instead be viewed as looking down on him, making Long Chen want to show off even more. After all, at such a young age, they cared especially about being looked down on. Then let's go. I hope you can stay calm. If you really can't do it, don't force it. That is very dangerous. Yuo Changwu patted Long Chen's shoulder. All he could do was tactfully express his opinion. Junior understands. I cherish my life more than anyone. I won't lose it for nothing, said Long Chen. This uncle of his was at least not bad. He wasn't as irritatingly overbearing as his grandfather. Hearing that, Yuo Chang was a bit more at ease. If Long Chen really could understand how to retreat when he needed to, that would be excellent. Bai Ziol and the others were attended to by other people from the Yuo family. Only Long Chen followed Liuo Changwu past layers of stone trees at the rear. Liuo Changwu's expression was grave, and he didn't say a word. Long Chen smiled. Senior, there's no need to be worried. Liuo Changwu shook his head. The family head's thoughts are known only to himself. Even as his son, just like my big brother, I never know what he's thinking. Ever since we were young, we could only listen to his orders. Only junior sister. Liuo Chenwu suddenly shut his mouth, an expression of pain appearing in his eyes. Long Chen's heart pounded. He knew that this junior sister of his was his mother. Long Chen wanted to ask him more about her. He so badly wanted to tell him that he was his junior sister's son. However, he couldn't. At the very least, he still couldn't lay all his cards on the table. He wanted to ask where his mother was and reunite with his father first. As for the grievance between his mother and the Liuo family, that wasn't something that could be resolved with martial power, nor was it something that he could resolve. This family head was too stubborn, so stubborn that others couldn't break. Clearly, Liuo Changwu was full of respect and reverence for him, and although he didn't approve of his father's methods, he was powerless to change anything. The Liuo family inhabited this stone mountain range. There was a stone forest with caves all around for the Liuo family's people to cultivate in. On the way, Long Chen noticed that the Liuo family's territory was even larger than he had expected. However, such a big family didn't have that many people. It was a huge land with few people. He knew that due to the Chu family's tricks, the majority of the Liuo family's forces were distributed to the other battlefield. In less than an hour, as Long Chen walked, the stone trees in his sight became taller and taller until he saw a stone cliff soaring into the clouds. Looking from a distance, he saw clouds circling the waist of the mountain. It gave off a grand and heavy feeling. Just looking at it made his soul twinge. At the foot of the mountain were stone steps, and every step was several meters high. It was as if the steps were for giants. This is the honing heavenly staircase. 
The family head is at the top. Be careful. Sometimes retreating is the wisest option, said Liuo Changwu, once more patting Long Chen's shoulder before leaving. Long Chen stood at the bottom of the stone staircase. Staring up at the path that led beyond the clothes, he felt a pair of eyes watching him. Long Chen took a deep breath and raised his leg to start the climb. Chapter 3215 Honing Trial The instant Long Chen stepped onto the first stair, countless runes lit up throughout the staircase. It was like a beacon leading straight to the heavens. At this moment, Long Chen felt an invisible energy press down on him, and he curled his lips. Back in the day, he had climbed the netherworld heaven staircase. Now he was climbing the honing heavenly staircase. Long Chen took giant steps, climbing up the stairs one by one. Just as expected, the pressure grew the higher he climbed. However, this was nothing to Long Chen, and he climbed according to a specific tempo. It was only at the thirtieth stair that he actually felt some pressure. That pressure couldn't be said to be heavy to him. On the fortieth stair, he felt that invisible energy started to press down on his will. The will was the foundation of the Tao heart, and this place should be a place for tempering the will. Long Chen couldn't help smiling. He had walked out of countless predicaments and arrived at the immortal world after climbing through a mountain of corpses. No one could shake his will, not even the heavens. When Long Chen reached the fiftieth step, space twisted around him. An enormous pressure pressed down on him like he was suddenly carrying a mountain on his back. Yuo Changwu had said that the first forty-nine steps were for four peak disciples, while the latter steps were for divine lords. As expected at the fifth step, Long Chen had a different feeling. The pressure on him had increased by over ten times. It wasn't just targeting the will, but also the physical body. As he pressed onwards, the pressure only grew. But Long Chen still didn't feel it to be too much. For an ordinary divine lord, their physical body would have reached the limit. But for Long Chen's physical body, it was still unable to pose a threat. At the sixtieth step, the pressure grew explosively once more. And at the seventieth step, his essence blood involuntarily quickened. His blood was instinctively circulating to resist the pressure. The seventieth step was enough to crush ordinary divine lords. He had surpassed the tolerance level of the majority of divine lords. At the seventy-ninth step, Long Chen sensed a powerful tearing power. It was like invisible hands trying to pull him apart. This step was Luo Changwu's limit. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. This uncle of his must not specialize in the physical body, otherwise with his will, he could definitely progress further. On the eightieth step, Long Chen's body instinctively bent. He felt the space above him had been restricted, making him unable to stand up straight. With a snort, Long Chen forced his body up. The stone step rumbled and runes exploded. At this moment, Long Chen felt as if he was trying to lift up a star. His whole body began to hurt slightly. In truth, there was no need for him to do this. As long as he bent down, he wouldn't have to endure this much pressure. However, Long Chen's pride refused to allow him to lower his head. That would be a concession, a display of powerlessness. That was already a kind of failure, especially on the honing heavenly staircase when someone was watching him. Furthermore, he had a feeling that if he lowered his head, he wouldn't be able to reach the peak. One concession led to further concessions until there was nowhere left to go. The eighty-first step caused the pressure to increase once more. At the eighty-fifth step, his divine flames automatically ignited. After that, at the eighty-ninth step, he felt immense power crashing down on him, and it was like he was within the chaotic flow of space, with his body being torn apart. The next moment, Golden dragon scales appeared on top of his body, and a dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth. 
wild blood kai formed a pillar of golden light that scattered the clouds and changed the color of the world in that instant all of the liuo family's territory shuddered kin feng bai Saiol, and zhu zixin were accompanied by the liuo family's experts and drinking tea when they heard the dragon cry they then saw golden light split apart the clouds in the distance and jumped in shock kin feng's expression changed no need to panic long chen is charging up the honing heavenly staircase he'll definitely have to use his full power said liuo changwu this wasn't the result of someone fighting Long Chen and forcing him to go all out. In truth, while Yuo Chengwu had returned to accompany Qin Feng and the others and said such words, all of his attention was on the honing heavenly staircase. That spot. The Yuo family's experts stared at that height in shock. Yes, he's already reached the ninetieth step, said Yuo Chengwu. He was also shocked. He hadn't expected Long Chen to get there so fast. However, the faster you went, the greater the pressure at the end. The final nine steps in particular were the true honing steps. At the same time as Liuo Chang who was shocked, he was also worried. The ninetieth step? He's so powerful. The Liuo family's experts didn't dare to believe it. Everyone knew that other than the family head, no one in the Liuo family had reached the ninetieth step. On the other hand, quite a few people managed to reach the eighty-ninth step, but at the ninetieth step, the pressure would become a raging flood. Many people had tried to resist that flood only to be washed away, killed without a trace. On the other hand, Liuo Bing, Liuo Zhu, Liuo Ning, Liuo King, and those familiar with Long Chen didn't feel too much shock. They were filled with anticipation instead. They had personally seen how strong Long Chen was, so they truly felt him to be omnipotent. They all hoped for Long Chen to be able to reach the peak. Just as the Liuo family was shocked by Long Chen's display, Long Chen faced an unprecedented crisis. Standing on the ninetieth step, he felt the raging flood crashing upon him. His soul ached as if a grindstone was grinding away at it. Moreover, the flood was actually capable of moving through his body. It was like millions of flies were grinding away pieces of him. Now, Long Chen understood where the name of the Honing Heavenly Staircase came from. The first few steps tested a person's aptitude. It was the later steps that were the true start of the Honing. Kai, blood, flesh, tendon, bone, soul, mind, will. Whether the part had form or was formless, it was being ground. It was an indescribable pain. It was no wonder that only the family head had ever managed to climb the honing heavenly staircase. Such pain was unendurable. There are still nine steps. Long Chen took a deep breath, clenched his teeth, and raised his foot to the next step. Chapter 3216 Immortal King Zichuan When Long Chen stepped onto the 91st stair, he felt heaven and earth twisting around him, and even the scenery around him vanished from sight. Everything around him was in chaos. He felt wild winds and flickering lightning. This is heavenly Tao energy. Long Chen hadn't expected this. The honing heavenly staircase was actually controlling heavenly Tao energy. Its heavenly might was not much inferior to his own heavenly tribulation. Furthermore, this heavenly might was tearing at his body, grinding away at his will and corroding his soul, trying to make him admit defeat. The moment he stepped foot on this stair, he felt as if he had turned transparent. Foreign power pierced through his body, while his flesh and soul were undergoing a painful grinding. The more he resisted, the greater that power. However, Long Chen's will was firm. He ignored this pain and continued climbing. With every step he took, the honing heavenly staircase shuddered. It was as if the world was rocking with it. In the distance, the Liuo family's experts watched nervously. The ninety-fifth stair. Liuo Zhu clenched her fists tightly. Long Chen had gone so far. He was only a bit off from the top. 
Long Chen's dragon scales were now glowing. Waves of dragon might came from them, and a dragon roar rang out, mixing with the roaring of the heavenly downs. At some point, black clouds roiling with lightning had appeared in the sky. The might of the heavens shook people's souls. I heard that starting at the ninetieth step, the heavenly dows becomes the whetstone that grinds and polishes you, allowing you to unleash your sharpness. Regretfully, other than the family head, no one else has reached there. The family head has never mentioned what happened on the honing heavenly staircase either, said one of the Luo family's elders. Only when Long Chen reached that level did they understand that the true honing started with the last final steps. As for them, they weren't even qualified to come into contact with that honing. In front of that heavenly might, people had to bend down and cower. Who had the guts to resist the heavens? Even if you had the guts, you needed a strong enough physical body. After all, you could have guts but not the conditions to back it up. Just as the Liuo family's experts were discussing it, Long Chen once more pressed onwards, climbing two steps in one go and reaching the ninety-seventh stair. Just then, the scenery changed once more. In front of Long Chen appeared a waterfall dashing down upon him. Long Chen's body shook as this waterfall contained the power of the ten thousand daos. Traces of blood began to leak out of his dragon scales. This honing heavenly staircase really is something good. Long Chen was surprised as he sensed this power. As expected, every single major power possessed its own treasures. There was no way to estimate the value of this divine item. If he had come here earlier, then his last tribulation might not have been so dangerous. This item was the best thing for tempering a person's will. It could be considered one of the fastest paths to make a person stronger. But on the ninety-eighth step, lightning fell on Long Chen's body, and the immense power popped all over his scales. At this moment, space began to solidify, time turned slow, and sound became ephemeral. Long Chen could hear his bones creaking. Whether it was the pressure of the mind or the flesh, it had doubled. Without the golden dragon battle armor, his body would probably have been flattened. Long Chen took a deep breath and stepped toward the ninety-ninth step. Long Chen grunted. The space above him collapsed, and he was almost crushed. Now it was as if the entire cosmos was above his head, trying to crush him and take his life. Long Chen frowned and roared. His hair flew in the wild wind as all his power erupted. Cracks appeared in the space above him. Boom! At this moment, the void exploded, transforming into fragments of space-time. Long Chen then coughed up a mouthful of blood, cracks covering his entire body. After that, the pressure was gone and Long Chen looked behind him, smiling. He had finally succeeded. Success! Bai Xiaol cheered. Yuo Bing, Liu Zhu, and the others also shouted excitedly. After so many years, someone had finally ascended the Honing Heavenly Staircase. Long Chen didn't disappoint them. At the top, Long Chen saw another staircase, startling him. Was there more? However, when he stepped foot onto it, he found that it was nothing more than an ordinary staircase. It continued to a stone house. Within this barren mountaintop, there was only a single, lonely, exceedingly simple stone hut. There was a stone steel in front of it with various weapons stabbed into it. Only the handles were exposed, so it wasn't possible to tell what sort of weapons they were. There was also a figure sitting on top of the steel. His back was facing Long Chen, as straight as a javelin. His hair reached his shoulders, and each strand was perfectly straight like steel wires. He was like a mountain, immovable. He was the family head of the Liuo family, the one who had saved the Liuo family from a crisis. He was the only supreme master of the Liuo family, the legendary figure Liuo Zichuan. Staring at his back, Long Chen felt his heart quickening. 
Despite this person not releasing any aura, he gave Long Chan a sense of pressure that was even greater than what he had sensed from Impuda. He didn't know if it was because this person was his grandfather, causing him to be nervous. Only through his mouth could he learn about his mother's whereabouts. You should not have come. Yuo Zichuan spoke, his voice flat and cold. It wasn't aloof and out of touch with reality, but it still gave off a feeling that made others not dare to defy him. It was as if his voice was a divine edict that could not be defied. Why not? Long Chen took a deep breath and did his best to keep his voice calm. Yuo Zichuan slowly turned and Long Chen finally saw his face. He looked to be in his forties and was very handsome. The most handsome man that Long Chen had ever met was young master Chang Chuan, but this Liu Zichuan was not inferior to him at all. The most unforgettable thing about him was his pair of violet eyes. They were like amethysts, and divine light was present deep within those eyes. It was as if stars were flowing within them. When those eyes stared at him, Long Chen's body shuddered. He felt like all his secrets were exposed in front of them. These eyes could see through a person's heart and soul. Hence, Long Chen turned ice cold. It was as if he was stripped and thrown into a land of ice and snow. Yuo Zichuan's eyes contained a dark, killing intent. He said, because I will kill you. Outsiders cannot be permitted to stain the Yuo family's bloodline. Chapter 3217 Fury Explodes Long Chen's Heart Pounded he didn't know whether or not Liuo Zichuan was trying to swindle information out of him. I don't know what Senior is talking about. Yuo Zichuan's violet eyes glowed. He shook his head. As expected, once the blood of outsiders stains it, even my violet blood race's pride is lost. You really disappoint me. Although it doesn't matter whether you make me happy or disappoint me, you won't be able to escape your death in either case. However, for you to be such a coward, it's really disgusting. It proves that my decision is correct. Long Chen raged, what are you talking about? Yuo Zichuan's words provoked Long Chen's fury. If it weren't for his mother, would he have to suffer such a grievance? For his mother he could only endure. But now he felt his dignity being trampled on, and he couldn't control his anger. In the face of Long Chen's anger, Yuo Zichuan coldly said, When Chang Wu went to see you, he brought back a photographic jade of you, and I instantly recognized you. That stubborn gaze is practically identical to your mother's. Everything you are doing is just in search of your mother. You actually ascended to the immortal world. You should have continued to endure until you became an immortal king. Perhaps by running rampant in other regions, you could see enough to find your mother. Regretfully, youngsters really are youngsters. They like to walk shortcuts and take risks without realizing just how devastating the consequences of failure are. I, Liu Zichuan, have killed countless people in my lifetime, and now I actually have to kill my own grandson. Just thinking about it, don't you think it's ironic? Long Chen was shaken. So Yuo Zichuan had long since seen through his identity. Long Chen had actually thought himself smart by coming here to see if he could dredge up something about his mother, but he was too naive. If you know that I'm your grandson, why do you want to kill me? Why did you imprison my mother? Are you even human? Upon realizing this, Long Chen's eyes reddened and he roared with fury. Thinking of how his mother was once imprisoned in that ice land, Long Chen felt like a blade was stabbing him. She walked the wrong path. Naturally, she must take responsibility for her own failures, said Liuo Zichuan coldly. Bullshit! Is choosing your own lover something wrong? Yuo Zichuan was still icily calm in front of Long Chen's anger. He indifferently said, she is from the bloodline of the Liuo family and she possessed the only potential to awaken the immemorial bloodline. Then her child would definitely inherit the ancestral bloodline of the violet blood race. 
that's why she had to marry within the family for the resurgence of the violet blood race to pass on this lost inheritance what dogshit logic is that you think my mother is some tool for breeding some bargaining chip for the resurgence of some lost race what dogshit pride you are nothing more than a sanctimonious hypocrite cursed long chin he was mad with rage how could such a father exist in this world yu zichuan coldly said every person has their own responsibility within this world your mother was the only hope of the violet blood race rising and she knew what she was carrying on her shoulders however her willfulness has thrown millions of lives of the family in peril do you know that the peace of the immortal world is about to shatter do you know that the price of her actions is countless lives of the luo family do you know that she possesses a sacred body that is restricted by the heavenly dows she can only have one child in this life in other words if she wants a second child you must die so i can only kill you this is for the luo family it doesn't matter if you hate me or curse me even if i have to carry the name of infamy for eternity i will still kill you mortal king zichuan might as well be dogshit zichuan you lack the ability so you pass the burden on to your own child although i am nothing more than a newcomer in the immortal world i know that i will carry my own burdens if i can't i won't force others to carry them instead life and death are up to the heavens so sacrificing others for your own gain is the style of your luo family i spit on you if you want to kill me then come let's see just how you kill me today my creed in life is to look down on death to fight to the death against anyone who tries to suppress me um i won't have mercy on you just because you're my grandfather long chen roared and his black saber appeared in his hand he pointed it at Liu Zichuan. Even if he was facing a world king, even if it was his own grandfather, his will to fight still overflowed. His anger had nowhere else to go, so he could only fight. The life and death of the Liuo family had nothing to do with him. He only cared about his mother. Giant families like this in the immortal world didn't have familial emotions to speak of. Long Chen didn't have a sense of belonging in this place or anywhere in the immortal world. The people here didn't have many familial emotions, and what they had was a sense of profit. For profit, they could sacrifice anything. That was the most unacceptable thing for Long Chen. Yuo Zichuan nodded with Long Chen's saber pointed at him. Not bad. You do have some of the Yuo family's backbone. Backbone? Are you joking? If the Liu family had any backbone at all, they wouldn't sacrifice a single girl's emotions while struggling on death's door, sneered Long Chen, spitting on this praise. Liu Zichuan didn't defend himself. He stood and descended from the stone steel. After that, he rubbed the steel, lost in memories. He muttered, I don't even know how many years it has been since I last fought. Every saber here has its own story. If I directly killed you, you might not admit defeat even in death. Since you're in the Four Peak Realm, I'll suppress my realm to the Four Peak Realm. No need. Otherwise, if I kill you with one blow, I won't have the face to see my mother, sneered Long Chen. Hearing this statement, Liu Zichuan looked at Long Chen oddly. After a long moment, he said, Are you prepared to die? Iran as long as i still have a single breath left in me i won't admit defeat even in front of impuda i didn't cower as for you perhaps i can't defeat you but you can't kill me said long chen coldly the most painful thing for long chen was that if it was anyone else he could fight using his normal style trading life for life but he couldn't do so against yuo zichuan if yuo zichuan died would his mother forgive him Long Chen was hesitating over this matter. He didn't know what he should do. Liu Zichuan shook his head. You're very arrogant. Unfortunately, your power doesn't match your arrogance. 
do you really think that your current self is unmatched in this realm i'll put it bluntly you are nothing more than a frog at the bottom of a well you have not seen any true experts yet yuo zichuan pressed his hand against the steel with a light sound a sabre popped out of the steel and landed in his hand this blade's name is bloodrinker bloodrinker was the name of an ancient battle god of the barbarian race the weapons of his subordinates were all named bloodrinker regardless of quality when that battle god died his entire branch fought to the death with him the bloodrinker sabers were almost all lost in the divine flame realm i happened to find one although its quality is only at the spirit item level it has accompanied me throughout the nine prefectures and has slain countless experts others called it the bloodrinker wild saber as for myself before becoming an immortal king they called me wild saber zichuan prepare yourself i'm about to attack looking at this saber Yuo zichuan seemed to be recollecting his youth a fire ignited in his eyes long chen raised his saber his essence kai and spirit were at his peak Yuo zichuan gracefully swung his saber it was like a bolt of lightning descending from the heavens slashing toward long chen long chen hastily blocked only for him to be shocked that he was blocking nonsense as an intense sensation of death enveloped him he instinctively tilted his head backward blood splashed through the air chapter three thousand two hundred eighteen the difference long chen was shocked just now he had clearly blocked it so why had he missed if he hadn't dodged quickly enough his head would have already fallen to the ground it was his first time seeing such a bizarre move i see sweat soaked his back that attack is based on the principle of time that i comprehended in the divine flame realm although it's nothing more than the barest scratch of the surface to that principle it allowed me to be unmatched in the same realm your timing speed angle and power were all correct unfortunately you don't understand that time is the toughest dao path in this world the reason you could be unmatched in the heavenly swell domain is because your enemies were useless not because you are so powerful if we were born in the same generation you would have become one of the ghosts beneath my blade a stepping stone for my own cultivation Yuo Zichuan's saber was pointed towards the ground. He stared at Long Chen like an emperor looking at a peasant. Time and space are the foundation of the heavenly Daos. Only someone close to the heavenly Daos can comprehend them. Is that so amazing? sneered Long Chen. Long Chen rubbed the blood off of his neck. The wound instantly healed. His gaze was icy. He knew that he had encountered an expert that was terrifying to the peak the laws of time and space long chen also tried to delve into their profundities however he wasn't close to the heavenly downs he was expelled by them how could he research them it wasn't that he didn't want to research them but that the heavenly downs would not permit him to research them now that this matter was also mentioned he was further incensed it's my turn long chen's black saber transformed into a bolt of black lightning hacking towards liuo zichuan his immense spiritual strength locked onto liuo zichuan right now liuo zichuan had suppressed his cultivation base to the same realm as long chen long chen could directly lock onto him the only gratifying thing was that with his realm suppressed he could still be locked down by mental power in other words in the same realm his mental power was far inferior showing off brute power is not the essence of the saber dao you're disappointing me more yuo zichuan snorted and swung his own saber when long chen's saber fell in one single exchange he heard eight collisions his arm trembled his power had been reduced eight times originally he had been trying to use this mental energy lock to force Liuo Zichuan into a direct exchange. Then he would have the advantage, as he was using his strength against his opponent's weakness. 
However, when their sabers collided, Liuo Zichuan's saber quivered rapidly. The power of his attack was reduced eight times, and was easily blocked by Liuo Zichuan. Suddenly, a sensation of danger filled Long Chen. Golden dragon scales appeared on his left arm. He hastily raised his arm behind him. A saber slashed into his arm from a bizarre angle, cutting it all the way to the bone. Even the golden dragon scales were unable to block this saber. If it weren't for his tough bones, his arm would have been severed. Your sense of danger isn't bad. But your head is a bit foolish. As I thought, you shouldn't be in this world. When Liuo Zichuan's icy voice entered Long Chen's ears, his anger once more flared. Shut up! Long Chen's saber danced. In his fury, he didn't care if this was his grandfather or not. He was going all out, attacking in a suicidal manner that forced his opponent to exchange injury for injury. He had no choice but to go all out. Immortal King had suppressed his realm to the same as his. He hadn't even used his violet blood kai, but he was still suppressing him. Long Chen had never faced such a setback. If he lost, he would be killed. He couldn't possibly care any longer about this grandfather of his. His saber fought against death. No skill or rhythm. It's just random hacking like some ruffian. My Luo family's blood has been completely wasted on you. Yuo Zichuan's saber was both light and heavy. It changed specifically to counter any move that Long Chen made. Yuo Zichuan easily countered him. Long Chen's techniques that had forced countless people to choose between life and death were like child's play in front of Liuo Zichuan. His saber simply easily resolved his attacks. An occasional lethal attack would sometimes strike at such a perfect timing that Long Chen couldn't even attempt to dodge. He could only use his body to block. In just a few short moments, Long Chen's body was riddled with wounds. Wound. Yuo Zichuan suddenly shouted, and his saber hacked down. Long Chen blocked, only to be shocked by how Yuo Zichuan's light saber was suddenly emitting explosive power. His saber went flying out of his hands, and he tumbled back. He didn't know if it was a coincidence, but the direction he was sent flying was the honing heavenly staircase. When he landed on top of it, he instantly felt a terrifying current crash down upon him. Long Chen tumbled down the staircase, all the way to the foot of the mountain. At last, he smashed into the hard rock at the bottom, leaving a human-shaped imprint with countless cracks around it. Just then, a saber also plummeted down from the sky, stabbing into the rock beside him. That saber was his black saber. Long Chen looked back up the honing heavenly staircase. He stared into the clouds. He felt a pair of eyes staring arrogantly down at him. Those eyes were icy, not with disdain, but apathy. That made him even more incensed. Long Chen stood. Suddenly, he coughed up a mouthful of blood. The world spun around him, and he collapsed just like that. Eh, what's going on? Where's the Honing Heavenly Staircase? Just as Long Chen reached the 99th stair of the Honing Heavenly Staircase, it vanished from sight. Even the mountain was gone. It was shrouded in mist. Bai Xiol cried out in shock. It's unclear. Perhaps the family head has something he wishes to communicate with Long Chen that he doesn't want others to see, said Liuo Changwu. However, at the same time, he felt a sense of unease, as if something bad was about to happen. However, this mysterious father of his didn't tell him, his own son, what he was thinking. He couldn't do anything about it. He could only wait with everyone else. Eh? After an unknown amount of time passed, Long Chen woke up. While he was unconscious, the primal chaos space automatically helped him recover. When he woke up, he was once more at full power. Long Chen took a deep breath. He pulled his saber out of the ground and rested it on his shoulder. Without a word, he once more charged up the honing heavenly staircase. 
he once more arrived in front of the stone hut. Yuo Zichuan was standing beside the stone steel, seemingly waiting for him. Yuo Zichuan had already placed his blood rinker saber back into the steel. He pressed his hand against the steel once more. Another saber leapt into Yuo Zichuan's hand. That saber was actually a dragon saber. A dragon bone? Long Chen was stunned when he saw this saber. This saber was actually made out of a dragon bone. Chapter 3219 Sharpening This Saber is called Jai. Jai is a rune amongst second-generation GLI immortal characters. It is the name of the reverse dragon. A dragon has nine sons, all of them different. One is a defiant son, Jai. Upon reaching the adulthood, Jai gave rise to two reverse scales. Jai liked to kill and devour his own race. Jai was cruel but liked to act like a good person. Jai was evil yet liked to deceive people. Jai was an evil sort amongst dragons, and this saber is an ancient remnant. Although its divine energy has all run out, its murderous aura has not lessened. When I obtained it, I liked its sharpness, and I challenged experts from outside my domain. In ten years, not one person could oppose me. This saber holding stone behind me is a collection of my life. Every saber has its own story. I wonder how many you can endure. Yuo Zichuan looked at Long Chen with his bone saber in hand. This bone saber made him think of Dragon Bone Evil Moon. Evil Moon was pitch black, but this bone saber was white as jade. This bone saber looked as if it had been eroded with age. It was most likely incredibly old. No matter how powerful the weapon, it could not escape the encroachment of time. However, this dragon bone seemed to contain an evil spirit. Once it was released, it would devour people's souls. Long Chen raised his saber once more. Pum! Yuo Zichuan didn't stand on courtesy. With a single step, he seemed to teleport, appearing to Long Chen's left side. His saber slashed towards his ribs. The angle was perfectly calculated to be the most difficult for Long Chen to defend. Boop! Long Chen tilted his arm, surprisingly using the hilt to block the bone saber. He was sent flying back, and as he did so, he swung his saber to the side, aiming for Yuo Zichuan's head. Yuo Zichuan raised his saber and blocked. Both sides instantly separated. One attacked perfectly, one defended dangerously. After this exchange, the two of them had switched positions. Not bad. You're not thinking so rigidly about only using the blade. It can count as a slight improvement. But it won't change your fate of being killed, said Luo Zichuan, a trace of praise finally appearing in his eyes. After saying that, he once more attacked. His attack was simple, straightforward, direct. It was his first time unleashing such a single attack against Long Chen. Long Chen didn't receive it. Instead, taking advantage of the length of his saber, he forcibly attacked Luo Zichuan. He had to take the initiative, or he would die to his hands. Luo Zichuan's saber was extremely long, almost stupidly so. It was rather awkward to use, to the point that it could be considered a fatal weakness. But it was also its strong point as well. Whenever Long Chen was unable to endure, he could take advantage of its length to attack. This would give him opportunities and give him a chance to breathe. However, the slightest misjudgment would spell his end. He would have to pay a terrible price. Originally, Long Chen expected Luo Zichuan would be forced to retreat. But his bone saber seemed to come to life. Like a dragon, it passed through Long Chen's saber and pierced his chest. Despite already moving back as the bone saber stabbed towards his chest, Long Chen was unable to completely avoid it. He didn't even have time to use his dragon scale armor before his body was pierced. A flexible saber! Long Chen's expression changed. This dragon bone blade was almost alive. It could be soft or hard. 
the moment it stabbed him, he felt a sharp pain throughout his body, as if there was some powerful poison on top of it. The most shocking and enraging thing for Long Chen was that in front of Liu Zichuan, the power that he was so proud of could never be unleashed. Whether it was his astral power, his divine flame energy, his golden dragon power, his thunder force, his flame energy, there was no way to use any of them. The moment that he did, it was true that his power would grow explosively, but at the same time, his speed would be impacted. No matter how powerful the move, it was useless if it couldn't strike his opponent. Yuo Zichuan's moves flowed perfectly like water. Every single one of his attacks forced him back. It was as if they were playing chess, and Liuo Zichuan was attacking steadily. One wrong move, and Long Chen's board would collapse. Ultimately, Long Chen was always forced to play passively. No matter what he did, he could only buy a few breaths. Yuo Zichuan was constantly suppressing him. He had no opportunity to unleash any bigger moves. Yuo Zichuan's attacks were too fast. In fact, he couldn't even unleash small moves. Most of the time, he was forced to passively defend. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a terrifying saber master. He had never imagined that a single saber could show a million transformations. Every part of the saber contained profundities to take advantage of. Compared to Liu Zichuan, he was like a local ruffian fighting a master of their craft. They simply weren't on the same level. This feeling of powerlessness was one that sparked despair. The difference was too great. Long Chen was the dual champion of the Nine Prefecture Convention. He had drawn heavenly tribulation that killed countless experts. For him to now receive such a blow, it was like a hammer leaving stars in his eyes. That dragon bone saber was sometimes like a roaring dragon, and sometimes like a viper striking out of its cave. Its attacks were sometimes sharp, yet sometimes mighty. It left Long Chen bloodied. Long Chen fought with his life on the line, but there was no way for him to bypass the saber, nor could he completely stop it. When Long Chen had discussed the Tao, he had said that all techniques had their flaws. Thus, attacking with a stylist style was the correct choice. However, Yuo Zichuan's techniques were all brilliant. There might be flaws, but they were completely covered up. Furthermore, if an opening did appear for just a glimmer, despite seeing it, there was no way for him to grasp it. Oh, Long Chen bitterly fought for an hour. They exchanged thousands of blows. Yuo Zichuan's techniques continued to come out in an unending stream, not one of them repeating. Suddenly, an opening was grasped by Yuo Zichuan, and Long Chen was once more sent tumbling down the honing heavenly staircase. Long Chen once more landed at the bottom. His saber stabbed into the rock beside him. He once more coughed up blood and fainted. After sending him down, Liuo Zichuan slowly reinserted his bone saber into the stone steel. He stood there at the peak, his arms clasped behind him. His violet eyes stared at the foot of the mountain, through the layers of clouds. He saw the bloody, unconscious Long Chen. His handsome face was completely expressionless. Long Chen woke up. Looking at his bloodied robes, he thought to himself that it was fortunate that he had expected to encounter the expected on the honing heavenly staircase. He had already put on some ordinary clothes that he didn't care about. Long Chen stood up. His clothes were a complete mess, but he didn't care. He once more picked up his saber, took a deep breath, and climbed up the honing heavenly staircase. Despite his torn clothes and his bloodied appearance, his back was still straight. His will was still solid. His steps were steady. He walked up without the slightest fear. However, even Long Chen himself was completely unaware that his aura was starting to change. It was just like a dull blade was being sharpened, allowing it to reveal its sharp light. Chapter 3220 A Fair Battle As Saber Light Flashed Like Lightning 
thunderous sounds rang out and even the void was sliced apart two sabres continued to whistle unleashing overwhelming saber kai long chen didn't even know how many times he had been sent tumbling down the honing heavenly staircase every time he got back up yuo zichuan switched to a different saber every saber had its own history its own particularities and its own techniques every time long chen thought that he was grasping the style when he came back up he found that everything that he had grasped about the previous saber was useless Boom. long chen fought liuo zichuan's tempest of attacks for six hours before being sent down the honing heavenly staircase once more he left a hole in the rocks below yet again long chen was incensed in the last three fights he had finally grasped something although he was still suppressed he was able to last longer and longer so he saw the hope of victory in that last attack in the six-hour fight he had attacked sixteen times taking the initiative those sixteen times despite seeing hope he was still defeated yuo zichuan's saber techniques were completely ephemeral so there was no pattern for long chen to grasp it seemed like there was no particular rule to his moves every move seemed to come without any warning the most infuriating thing to long chen was that no matter what he did liuo zichuan suppressed him once he was suppressed he began to exhaust his power and after being exhausted to a certain extent he would be sent flying he was like a drowning person being beaten in the water not being given any breathing room every fight was a sullen one once he couldn't hold on any longer he was sent flying even now he couldn't find any way to counter luo zichuan and could only continue to fight with his life on the line also he couldn't understand just how such terrifying high tempo attacks were not exhausting luo zichuan at all the most dejecting thing was that from the start Liuo Zichuan was fighting with the cultivation base of the Four Peak Realm. Long Chen had never felt so stifled in his life. Fortunately, his will was tough, and he refused to admit defeat. As he fought Liuo Zichuan, he also learned his techniques, using his own moves against him. Once Long Chen recovered, he clenched his teeth and charged up the staircase once more. He was so used to it that he reached the peak in almost an instant as soon as he saw yuo zichuan he directly attacked without saying a word this time yuo zichuan was using a golden saber it was a rarely seen curved saber that was like a crescent moon his techniques once more changed he seemed to be one with his saber and long chen didn't even get a single chance to counterattack facing a torrent of saber images Long Chen didn't even last two hours before being sent flying. Long Chen couldn't help cursing. He had definitely been scammed. He refused to believe that Liuo Zichuan had mastered so many saber forms while in the Four Peak Realm. Even if he worked to death, he couldn't have mastered so many. Those saber forms all required endless training and drilling to be able to flow so smoothly. For Liuo Zichuan to say that he wasn't bullying Long Chen, he was absolutely shameless. Despite that, Long Chen clenched his teeth and charged back up. Now, Liuo Zichuan had switched to a dual saber style. As a result, Long Chen couldn't even last a single hour before being sent flying again. Long Chen was shocked. Liuo Zichuan was practically a monster who had walked the saber Dao to the pinnacle with two sabers in his hands. It was like Long Chen was fighting two people at once. Long Chen was completely unable to fight back or even see his opponent's moves clearly before being knocked down. Anyone else would have despaired, but Long Chen charged back up. Time passed bit by bit. Long Chen was being knocked down over and over, but he always charged back up. Yuo Zichuan continued to switch saber forms, but Long Chen gradually managed to last longer. One time, Long Chen felt like he was on the verge of exhaustion, about to be sent flying again. However, just at that moment, 
his pores opened and a huge amount of life energy poured into him from every direction it was like someone who was drowning was given a chance to peek his head out of the water and take a deep breath in that moment long chen almost shouted from emotion he seemed to have grasped how to breathe Ooh. with that breath his aura exploded and even his senses grew clear his sabre then smashed into yuo zichuan's sabre which resulted in both of them shaking and retreating a few steps long chen had an excited expression he felt like he had finally grasped something and the world had grown clear his mind had gone through a baptism liuo zichuan shook his head it took you this long just to grasp the power of heaven and earth you are the most foolish person that i've met since you have comprehended the power of heaven and earth i can finally kill you with ease all this effort to make you comprehend this power was just to give you a chance to fight fairly kill me or be killed by me you can only choose one don't say that i didn't give you a chance you ozichuan pressed his hand against the stone steel again it then shuddered and violet light soared into the heavens at this moment a heaven-shaking sabre cry rang out and with it a long and ancient violet sabre appeared in Liuo Zichuan's hand. This sabre had violet kai surrounding it. It rumbled, drowning out all the other sounds of the world. Other than the sabre cry, no other sound could be heard. A light appeared in Liuo Zichuan's eyes as he eyed the sabre. He seemed to have finally come out of his shed. He said, This sabre's name is Violet Firm. It is a divine weapon that the violet blood race forged with special techniques in ancient times. However, this kind of secret art has long since been lost with the decline of the violet blood race. All of my sabers were found by myself, and only this violet fern is different. It was given to me. This saber is what gave me the power to pull the Luo family out of crisis and make it reach its current glory it is also what activated my violet blood divine pupils which is what allowed your mother to inherit the immemorial bloodline but that was ruined by you you are not guilty but for the family i must kill you once i resolve this accident everything will go back to the correct path i will not let anyone block the path of the resurgence of my violet blood race you talk so much but you're still an old foji who doesn't hesitate to sacrifice the happiness of your daughter for the family. You turned your own daughter into a tool for breeding. I really look down on people like you. Let's not waste more words. Pan, I will use my own power to defeat you. I will show you that your so-called bloodline is nothing more than a huge joke. Long Chen's anger once more flared when his mother was brought up. This stubborn old man really was obstinate. Down to his very core, Liu of Zichuan rejected Long Chen. That was the greatest insult Long Chen had ever experienced. At this point, Long Chen had comprehended countless principles of the Seder Dao throughout their fight. He had also grasped how to breathe, so he no longer had any misgivings. Stamping his foot on the ground, he shot forward like a bolt of lightning his sabre slashing toward Luo Zichuan. 